Hey everyone. Hey Tally you. I saw you in here first. Good to see you. Hi Inferno. Hi Chef. Hey Aaron. It's still yesterday. Yeah, same here Inferno. It's still yesterday for me too. <laughs> you just woke up Chef. Good morning. It's 142 here. It's 1143 where I am right now. So we can kind of do a mixture of things. There's a Shani and Rev Twitch stream. Um, I also, there's this video I've been wanting to watch on Becky's channel. Um, what? <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so, okay. There are, I'm so tired, you guys. <laughs> it's been one of those days. Okay, so. I, there's this video I've been wanting to watch on Becky's channel, I guess where she talks about Amber Lynn a little bit. Um, then there's also the Secrets of Playboy I saw video uploaded on here. So we could watch that too. Like we could do whatever you guys want. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm tired, you guys. Today was like, I just felt it. It was one of those days where I'm like, ugh, I'm just tired. Like if I put up a video, I think I might be in a grumpy mood. But um, so I went to like, I went to lunch with my mom at our acai, I can't say it right, acai bowl place. Um, and then I bought my dog a bunch of cute clothes. And what else did we do? We went grocery shopping at Sam's Club. And then um, tonight I'm just ready to like relax and hang out with you guys. Hey, Kara, how are you? Shani and Rev Christy, good to see you. Hey, Abby. Hello, hello. Okay, so I found another channel we can watch. Um, actually, I didn't find it. One of you guys recommended the channel. And I think it's just like the straight Shani and Rev Twitch streams with like very little input. Um, so we can start off with that. And then I guess after that, if we're still up and wanting to watch more, we can watch um, the Becky video, maybe some Tammy Lemon. I don't know. We can do it all. So remember how the last night's stream, or I guess yesterday morning stream, whatever you want to call it. Remember how MFW said she was going to court today and made it sound like um, Negs and DC were taking her to court? Well, they were streaming today. So obviously they weren't at court. I think so, Inferno. So obviously they weren't at court. And then we haven't heard anything from Katie. Like, I think she uploaded a short that had nothing to do with anything. Um... So I don't know what happened with that, but you know what I was thinking? How would she have got served a subpoena that late at night? And like, why would they do it that late at night for court the next morning that early? Like, does that ever happen? Hey, Vicky, good to see you. Um, oh, nice, Erin. I wish you lots of luck on eHarmony. Oh, maybe Inferno. It just didn't make sense. Like, why would they subpoena her like at midnight or whatever time it was for her? The whole thing didn't make sense to me. Um, yeah, Abby, I've been trying to look on Twitter to see if there's any updates and I haven't seen anything with it. But I did notice that, um, like I said, Negs and DC were streaming today. So I don't see how they would have been at court. <laughs> Sending you so much love back, Vicky. I appreciate everybody coming and hanging out with me every night. Like, this is so nice. Thank you. All right, let me find the Shani and Rev stream. Um, give me one second, you guys. I'll try not to yap so much tonight. I know I have a talking problem. I think it's because like I'm around my animals and my and like my nephews and my daughter and stuff like that so much. So like I'm not talking to a whole lot of adults. So <laughs> when I get to stream and, and then especially like when we do it this late at night, I feel like a little bit more like I could be myself, if that makes sense. Yeah, I tell you, when I was drinking, like, I would swear things happened. It's so hard to explain, but, like, when I was in my, one of my worst parts of addiction, like, I would, I would hallucinate and swear things happened that, like, didn't really happen. So I'm wondering if that's what's going on. I don't know. Erin, maybe she was too drunk to go to court. I, she was drinking a lot. Christy said, MFW may have said it as a bluff. She was blasted when she said it true. Yeah, the whole thing didn't make any sense. I don't know. And like she was saying how tragic called and threatened Doug, but like did Doug say anything? I don't remember Doug saying anything. So it was just, I was thinking about it more and I'm like, it actually makes no sense. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, Inferno, I think she was so drunk she thought she had court. I remember one time, you guys, in an area I was living, I was so drunk and I hallucinated a coyote coming and taking my dog. No joke. And I woke up the next morning, I swore it happened and my dog was right there. Like, I don't know. So, hi, Jenny. Good morning. You're supposed to be working. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you, but hopefully you can multitask really, really well. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. Um, so, okay, let me stop talking. Two things I truly regret during my addiction were drunk dialing and realizing that I smelled like alcohol at work. Uh, so embarrassing. Yeah, I regret a lot of stuff. We could talk recovery and addiction if you guys want to for a little bit. Um, I, I was a drunk dialer and I would let you know how you hurt my feelings in the second grade or the fifth grade or the seventh grade or like I, cause I still talk to like a lot of people I went to high school with, but we're not like close. Like we're just like, we know each other's numbers and stuff. And like just a lot of people I knew from my past. And I remember one time I was drinking and I sent like all these texts to somebody and like told them how much they bullied me. And like, in a way, I'm kind of glad I said it because they bullied me really bad. And then one attacked, like everything was fine later on in life. And I guess I was holding it all in, but I would do stuff like that. Like I would let you know what you did to me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Drunk dialing got me in so much trouble so many times. And I would always lose my phone when I was drinking. I would always lose my phone and my ID. You, I cannot tell you how many times I had to go get a renewal ID. <laughs> um, Aaron, yeah, I made amends too. Yeah. And like, I've said sorry to everybody. I need to say sorry too. So like, I can laugh about this stuff now. But I mean, there's a lot. Hi, twin. How are you? You're your own boss. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you won't be in big trouble. Hey, Bane, how are you? Good morning, Anna Maria. Uh, please don't stop talking. That's the main reason we are here. Well, Vicky, I get a mixture. I get the people who want me to talk a lot, and I get the people who are like, can you please just press play? Like, enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I understand, like, I can talk a lot. Um, Inferno, we won't tell you anything about what you're doing in return. You're good. <laughs> awesome. All right. Um, you didn't have a cell phone. Oh, you're lucky. I don't. I couldn't tell you how many cell phones I've been through in my life. Like, so many. Hey, trolls gone wild. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, the things I've done. The things I've seen. Do you guys have any questions for me? We could do like a quick little Q&A if you want and just hang out and get to know each other before I turn on the Shani and Rev mess. I was never a drinker, but I could keep a grudge for sure. Yeah, I guess I did keep grudges. I, I just would remember things that people did that were really messed up and like, I don't know, I guess I felt the need to let them know how they wronged me. <laughs> Lost phone. Yeah, that was me. Lost phone brazen all the time. I like talking parts. Your voice is so soothing. Oh, thank you so much. I think with my voice, people either really love it or really hate it. I've never watched any anime. I'm not opposed to it. I just have never watched any of it. Um. Oh, yeah, your life. Hey, Jack in the Crack. How are you? Your name makes me laugh. Um, yeah, I'm not opposed to it. It's like a cartoon, right? I just never have. Let's see what it being said. Oh, 18 years clean. Congratulations. That's amazing. Um, I still have the bag when I had in my car before cell phones. <laughs> I was up on the latest. Oh, that's awesome. I have to keep taking them, but I had to get help and do the steps for a few years. Then I did it on my own with therapy and reading. That's amazing. Keep sharing your story and keep sharing your sobriety date because you never know who needs to see it or hear your story. Um, got a good unwinding right now. Hope all is well with you. Thank you. Everything's good. Hey, Lily. Good morning, Breezy. Got work in a few hours, so I get to listen to your live. Loving it. And we enjoy your voice. Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful day or evening at work. Oh, well, it's morning, so a beautiful day at work. Mickey Mouse is really your boyfriend? Lucky. Lucky. I'll confess. Mod son is really mine. No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> Sobriety is sexy, twin. It's it's amazing. I um, tell you, I say this as a person postmenopausal, and since my period stopped, there is a I don't give a F fudge. <laughs> like I haven't since since age 13, so hormones are a factor. There you go. All right, let's go, Shani. Yeah, we're going to watch her in just a minute. Um, I'm too old. I had a car cell phone. I plugged into a cigarette lighter 90s teen. <laughs> I remember those. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I remember the giant Zach Morris cell phone. Wow. I remember pagers. I had a pager in junior high, and I remember calling people and texting 143 to all my friends. Do you guys remember what 143 stands for? <laughs> I have a sister who's in recovery from op opioids, heroin. We don't talk due to her mentality being the same in regard oh, to her stealing and not making up anything she did to me in her steps. Well, she's going to run into a problem. <coughs> Excuse me. She's going to run into a problem with her sobriety um, on that journey if she doesn't make amends and see her part that she played and everything like she's going to run into problems even though like I don't do AA anymore I think doing my steps helped me a lot like a lot I kind of recommend everybody does it <laughs> morning hi Janet good morning I didn't get a phone until I was in my 30s because I'm old well truth be told I didn't get an, an iPhone until I was 30 39 yeah no 38 39? I don't know. One of those ages. So, like, I'm late to the party, too. Like, I've always had a cell phone, but I've never had an iPhone until the past year or so, um, which really gets me because my daughter got an iPhone at age 10. <laughs> Not from me, by the way, from my dad, but, like, I tell her all the time, I'm like, you don't even know. You got one at 10. I said, I waited till I was 38, 39 to get my iPhone. I uh, love the steps and have to be honest, I hate the meetings. Yeah, AA is very clicky for me. Very, and it seems like, I don't know, it's just clicky, very judgmental. And I had a very bad experience that happened to me with somebody with a lot of years sober. I shared about that on, I think, my first recovery video on this channel. So, like, it's not part of what I do anymore, but I know it helps a lot of people. Hey, Denise. Hi, Amnu. Nice to meet Nice to meet you. You want your Galaxy back? <laughs> I love my iPhone. I There's certain things I miss about my old Android, though. Like, the Android, I felt like screen recording was better in the aspect of, like, when you screen record on an iPhone, it turns the volume down all the way on your end. So you, you have a hard time hearing whoever you're reacting to. On the Android, it was like loud, clear as day. Um, I could even pause the recording and do different things. Like, I don't know, it was just different. I feel like it was easier to screen record on my Android, but I love the camera on the iPhone. Like any picture you take looks professional, it just looks amazing. iPhone last 10 years before that was flip phone, yes. <laughs> I really learned about AA on the show, Mom. I love that show. I haven't watched it in so long, but I used to love that show. I'll say, hi, City. How are you? I found in meetings people always wanted rides or money from me. You have to find, like, the right group and the right meeting and what works for you. Because a lot of meetings, <laughs> people go just to hook up and meet people. And it's just, it's a wild world. And I'm not trying to discourage anybody away from it. I'm just saying... I don't believe that's the only way you can stay sober. I don't believe that. And I don't like to in AA how they like judge people. People are like, oh, I have like five years, however many years off of um, drugs and alcohol, but I found medicinal marijuana helps me. Or I have 12 years off of heroin, but I find marijuana helps me. Like when people say like, oh, you're not really sober. Like I believe in being out here, it's called Cali sober. Um, so I don't know. I have my own views on it. <laughs> I had a rumor too before the iPhone. I had an Android. I think it was called a JS Galaxy Star or something. That was my phone I had before my iPhone. Um, I'm too locked into Apple and yes, always have the love of the photos for you. I love the iPhone camera. Like nothing beats the camera. I'm scared of dating apps. I 
met some really weird people on Tinder. I did that like a long time ago, like, no, two, 10 years ago. My, I don't, it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago, but I remember I was separated from my daughter's father and I wanted to like get back out there. And I went and I, ugh, it was just, yeah, I had some experiences with Tinder. <laughs> so I'm scared of dating apps, but I also know a lot of people like meet that way, fall in love, have families, have a life together. So do what works for you. Android for life. I know I, <laughs> I want to get an Android just for screen recording. <laughs> I'm telling you, that thing was the best screen recorder. That, what was it called? JS Galaxy Star something. Oh, you met your husband in AA? That's awesome, twin. Dating apps are, I mean, it works for some people. So I guess Inferno, like whatever works for you or the person. <laughs> um, yeah, Bane. I met a lot of people because, like, I started in AA. It was young for me, like, what, 24? And I was very naive, and there's just a lot of people that say they want to help you, but they really don't have your best interest in mind. So I know for me, being a young female in AA, like, I met more predatory people than good people. A Tinder story? Oh, gosh. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. I mean, I've had a person, <sighs> I wasn't sober during this Tinder experience. I was pretending to be sober, but I wasn't. One day I thought was going really well and we went to like this bar and it, it was like my kind of place where they have like a live band and you dance and there's pool tables and all that stuff. Um, and I thought it was going really well. The drinks were flowing. We were dancing, fun night. He was as outgoing as me. I remember they wanted people to like, it was during Halloween because they had costumes for people to dress up. And I think I dressed up as like some kind of wild animal. I don't remember what, but it wasn't cute. And I was dancing around in it and the person dressed up too. And I don't know. It was, it was an experience. It was interesting. And I thought it was going really well. Like we were vibing. We had a really good time. Um, that was that at the end of the night, he forgot his wallet. I let it slip once and I went out on a second date. Again, I wasn't sober during this Tinder thingy. And it happened again and it really sucked. And I remember writing on Facebook. I don't know why I did this, but I was like, I had the best date ever with the worst person possible. But like, I felt like so betrayed. Like we were vibing. Everything was good. Like we liked all the same songs. He was as outgoing as me. Like I'm a people person. I talk to people, um, especially when I was like going to bars, like everybody was my friend. Um, and it was just so embarrassing because there was people, he's like, oh, I'll buy shots for you. I'll buy shots for you. And then the end of the night, I ended up paying for everything. And yeah, it happened a second time. So it was really shitty because like, like I said, we were vibing. Like we just got along, like we had weird things in common. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, cheap, cheap. He had some nerve ordering so many drinks on my tab. Shit. <laughs> Excuse my language. I'm being, I'm being me. I don't cuss a lot, but I can when I tell these stories. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, there's other more wild stories where like I've hooked up with somebody um, and they ended up being weird. But like, again, this was all pre, before I was a mom and everything. I think it was Tinder. I want to say it was Tinder, but it was some dating app. I remember I tried match.com too. And I went out with this one guy who was really, really nice. He was older. Um, I used to really like older men. Um, but he was, like, trying to sell me stuff, like a car. And so, like, I don't know if he was using it as, like, not connections. What's it called? Networking. I don't know what he was using it for. Hey, Marshmallow. Yeah, I think that was like a scam. Like I get the scammers and I need them to back off. The guy who like made me feel like he was amazing the whole day and then at the end doesn't have a wallet. 
<laughs> networking. That's it. Like he was trying to sell me stuff. I don't know. It was really weird. Yeah, Bane, I couldn't cuss even if I wanted to because one of my nephews is at the age where he literally repeats everything you say. So, and I'm with them like all the time. <laughs> so, and I don't naturally cuss. I feel like I sound stupid when I cuss. But when I'm telling these stories and I'm reliving like weird things, I feel like I can cuss. Nobody can hear me. I'm good. <laughs> um, let's see. How's Lauren's Tinder date while wow, she dodged a bullet? I don't so much either. Okay, I read that one. Um, all right, do you guys have any questions before we start watching Shani and Rev? Like, I don't know anything you want to know about me. I'm feeling very open to answering. Hold on, let me sip my vitamin water. I am so addicted to this flavor. It's the acai blueberry pomegranate vitamin water. It is the best. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll offer my profanity use services to you. Just tell me when you need it and I got you. Thanks, Inferno. Vicky said, I wasted seven years, 16 to 23, on a jerk who cheated all the time, just dating and engaged, dodged a huge bullet. How long? I've been sober for five years. Well, I'm glad you dodged a bullet, Vicky. I feel like the one person who thinks should have worked out with was my daughter's father but it just didn't work and like we're still friends I mean we have like we had a really rocky relationship for many years because we both had like a lot of resentments towards each other um I'll tell you <laughs> we had a lot of resentments towards each other he didn't you know I did a lot during my alcoholic whatever they were, like, I just wasn't the best person to date, you know, I put him through a lot, but he also had his own things going on, um, and so it just didn't work, and, like, now we've even, like, talked about it, would things ever work again, but I don't think so, like, there's, I've done all the changing on my end, but they haven't necessarily, so, and I mean, they're clean and sober, so it's not anything like that, it's just, like, things that I would really need them to change that I don't think they would ever change about themselves. Oh, you're watching a scary movie? What movie are you watching, Clyde? You had asked a question just, oh, Trolls, I'm sorry if I missed it. Can you repeat it? Any football teams? Oh, do I like any football teams? I don't really watch football, um, which is funny because I did cheer in high school for a little while. But no, I don't watch football. Like, if I have to pick a team, can I go with the Chargers? It's okay, Aaron. It's like, I don't know. I just feel like we get each other and we know each other like so well. And, you know, we have a child together. So like if things, they, I wish they would have worked out, but they didn't. <laughs> and I don't think they will now. I don't know. And crap, he knows my channel. So if you're listening to this, hi. <laughs> You should be asleep, not listening to this. Um, you needed a break? Oh, nope, it's getting good. What is nope on? I like a good scary movie. Why did I, new relationship was to deal with an anger right away. Don't let it build up. Hey, Mary. Oh, Vicky. So I had degenerative disc disease, but I had a huge back injury. So in one of my drinking store <laughs> one of my drinking binges partying way too much i fell 40 feet off of a balcony and the only reason i survived that fall is because i was drunk and the balcony that i fell off of had stairs like directly below it it was a really big beach house that was supposed to be a sober living but everybody partied in it and i had mixed alcohol and somebody gave me a bar of xanax and I was just on a whole new level. But see, this is the shady part. I always say I got locked out somehow, but I know how I got locked out. They didn't want to get in trouble. I was drunker than everybody else. Everybody else was like not causing a scene, being loud. Like if somebody had come in to check the house, like they could have hit it. I don't know if they could have hit the smell, but they could have hit it. Like I was obviously drunk and intoxicated and um, 
So I think they locked me out on the balcony to sober up, but I remember I had to pee. I had to pee so bad. And I remember looking over and thinking, oh, okay, like I just got to hang from it and then land on my feet. Well, I went over and flipped in the air. I don't know, once, twice, however many times I flipped. I remember that. And then I don't remember anything else really. I remember I must have got knocked out or passed out. And um, I remember looking up and I just had blood streaming like down my face. Um, it's really graphic, so I'm going to spare everybody the details, but I was really, really messed up. Yeah, Inferno, I mixed um, a bar of Xanax and I had been drinking four locos, I think, um, or something like that, something nasty with a really high alcohol percentage. So um, that's what happened. I remember I had, it was like a ruptured spleen, a bruise, something. I had a fractured neck. Um, my back was so badly bruised. So that's what I think, I think it was just an injury from that night. Um, and then I had like two herniated discs and, um, it's just led into like degenerative disc disease and everything else. So what happened was my back, I would say like the past, since, since I got pregnant with my daughter, I was like 103 pounds before I got pregnant. And then I had, um, preeclampsia. So I gained like a ton of weight. I remember I got up to like 220 pounds, 220 pounds pregnant. So 103 to 220 pounds is a lot. Yeah, it was really horrible to tell you. <laughs> I have stories. If you guys want to know stories, I could tell you one time about the time I knew I was dying and my parents just had a feeling and came and rescued me. It's happened a few times. But um, anyway, so what was I talking about now? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> That was the worst place to put you when you were intoxicated. Yeah, they locked me out on the balcony. That was crazy. Um. Anyway, so, oh yeah. So when I got pregnant with my daughter, I went from like 103 pounds to 120, then all the way up to 220, or 120 to 220. And I was swollen everywhere. And I think all the weight that I had gained and then carrying the baby just started messing up my back even more. And I would complain, I would be like hunched over, not able to stand up straight. And the doctors would just tell me, oh, it's it's from the baby, the pressure on your back. You know, it's an old injury after you have her, like the pain will go away. No, it only got worse. Um, every single year, it seemed to get like so much worse. And I kept complaining. I remember I kept telling them like I'd be sweeping and get like some kind of a pain in my back that would make me fall to my knees. And they, everybody would tell me I'm lying. Like, oh, you know, it's not that bad. It's just, it's from an old injury. You're fine. You're fine. And then I don't know what happened. I think I went into the doctors crying and they finally like decided to run tests and do like x-rays and all this stuff. And they found out that my back was like really, really messed up. 220 is foodie booty's dream. I'm not saying that's like a horrible weight to be at. I'm saying from going to 103 pounds to that in like a short amount of time. Um, was very like hard on my body. Oh, you got liquid metal in your spinal discs? I have two synthetic discs and I noticed that helps a lot. But you guys, I'm not even going to lie. Like the spinal fusion surgery was probably the most painful recovery of any surgery I've ever had. Um, oh, <laughs> like I did not know if I was going to survive the recovery. I had to have a catheter in a month after that because I had complications. I, um, the night of my surgery, they were worried I was going to pass away because they had to keep giving me so much medication because I would like scream out in pain. Like it seemed like every 20 minutes is when like the pain would get really bad again. And they had given me so much medication. They had to keep coming and checking my vitals. Um, my mom was scared to leave my side that night. And I remember looking up at one point and I'm like, I'm hurting. I'm in so much pain. And they're like, we can't give you any more medication. Like they're like, we're already worried you're going to stop breathing. And that was the nurse that said that. Um, so you got Jade Stone heating pads. I'm scared to do cryotherapy, Anka. And they offer some holistic, I would, I'm open to try it. I'm scared to try cryotherapy. I don't know why. I, that's where you have to be freezing, right? Like, I don't like being cold. Like, being cold is painful to me. But the stone heating pads sound amazing. 
it's okay, Abby. Like I deal with it. I, it's not fun um, at all, but I'm so much better than I was. Like before I got the surgery, I literally would fall over onto my knees, like in so much pain. So the surgery helped a lot. It just was like, the recovery was just so hard on me. I don't know why. I don't know if like when you go through so many surgeries, like every surgery gets a little bit harder in recovery. I'm not sure, but I don't, that I whew, like, I'm not looking forward to any other surgeries. <laughs> like not to be personal, please. Wait, do you have to take meds to move and walk? I have nerve muscle relaxers and pain control. Okay. So I'm going to be very honest about this. Um, I, how do I word this? I don't take any pain medication. I'm prescribed it, but I won't take it. I have found, how can I word this without it being twisted? I have found a lot of relief in a plant. <laughs> That's the best way I could say it. Cause I don't want things to get twisted, but I don't, um, I'm Cali sober. I don't, use anything to like get high or change, alter my mind or anything like that. Like I take it if I'm in a whole lot of pain. Does that make sense? Um, what is my opinion on who? I don't think that's okay. Trouble's gone wild. Uh, meetings should not ever be filmed. Everything's supposed to be anonymous. Um, people filming things like that, it's dangerous because people share a lot of really personal things. A lot of people go to meetings and they've ran from their abusive ex and they're there to get sober and find help and to learn how to live a life without, to, you know, new beginnings, a life of new beginnings. And I don't think recording those meetings are safe. I've shared some really personal things in meetings that I'd be heartbroken if I heard them online. I didn't hear the recording, so I'm not saying she did. I don't know what she recorded. Um, but that's really wrong, and it's really going to scare somebody who needs sobriety the most away from coming back to a meeting. So that's my opinion on that. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm missing anything. Um, where do I get a jade stone heating pad? You dust yourself or just granule. It makes sense. Yeah, Inferno. Um, I found some gummies that I feel help me a lot. And it's by the Koi brand. And they also have CBD. They sell dog CBDs. Um, yes, Trolls Gone Wild. It is amazing for pain. So, like, I don't take anything to alter my state of mind or change how I... Do you, does that make sense? I don't take anything to be in a different frame of mind. I take things for pain relief. And like all my doctors know, I take that. My family knows like it's not a huge secret. Um, coral sand works great too. Ooh. Sit with five pound ice blocks. Oh my gosh. Did she marry Jane? I don't know. Let me be nosy and look on YouTube. The last time I smoked hearts, I couldn't stop thinking about my giant tongue in my mouth. <laughs> oh, really, Clyde? Made it through my wife's master's degree graduation because of THC. I'm able to walk up and down. That's amazing, Bane. Oh, do you, Vicky? You have to find the right strain and what works for you. Like the right strain, the right sativa, indica, hybrid. Um, because I've had certain things that have made me feel like not paranoid but make me feel a certain way so i i had to really find what works for me utc on amazon try the xl backpack thank you yeah i'm lucky that you know i live in a state where it's legal and it's very normal everywhere you go people are using their vapes or <laughs> smoking it's everywhere you go to the beach it's everywhere um it's very normal here Sativa is very bad for anxiety. Like I found hybrid works best for me, but um, mm -hmm. Inferno, oh, the Thunderstruck CBD. I love CBD. 
I vape CBD. I've had my doctor's permission to use THC. It isn't legal here. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I forgot I was looking. Hold on. Nope, it's still there. She deleted mostly everything except for two shorts and a few community posts. Her channel's still there. See, Jenny, I'm not afraid to get addicted. I don't know. See, medicine works very weird on me. I don't know if it's because, like, I'm supposedly ADHD, but, like, I won't take medication for it because... I'll be very honest here. I've said many times in my addiction, like I was an alcohol person. That was my drug of choice. I would have walked through broken glass to get to my alcohol. But like if people had other things, I would try it. So how do I go with saying this without saying it? I don't feel comfortable taking medication for it. <laughs> I just don't. I don't. Why, why mess with a good thing? I'm okay right now. But, um, uh, painkillers, like, they don't make me tired. They, like, give me energy or something. Like, put me in a different mood, if that makes sense. I don't know. Like, things work different for me. Just like Benadryl, it would make most people drowsy. It it makes me more talkative. So, it, I don't know. I don't know that I'm scared to get addicted necessarily to painkillers. I'm scared of liking that feeling. So, I guess I'm scared to get addicted to painkillers. I'll just say that. I'm scared of liking the feeling of the energetic feeling because like I said it doesn't make me tired I know touchy yeah I'm up late <laughs> I'm up late we're supposed to be reacting but I'm just having fun talking to you guys yeah Inferno as long as you're 21 Clyde well that's a blessing in disguise because alcohol is very scary Thank you. They do you the same way. Yeah, medicine has like a reverse effect on me. It's very odd how it does that. I don't know if it's the ADHD. I don't know. Um, same painkillers were offered to me in the hospital. I declined too scared to get addicted because downers and I are. Yeah, I'm afraid of liking the feeling it gives me of like, I don't know. I, I say energy, but that's like the best word I could use to describe it. Like a fuzzy feeling in your brain where you just feel like, you can do it all or something. I don't know. It's like a weird feeling it gives me. Euphoria, that's it. Oh, really, Inferno? Yeah, options are a slippery slope. Weed isn't. Yeah, I just, I like I said, I'm prescribed it. I've been prescribed different things. Like, um, I don't want to go into names because, like, I don't want it to trigger anybody. But, like, it always just gives me an uppity feeling. Not a drowsy putting you to sleep. Like, I feel just uppity. Oh, really tell you I had um that didn't bother me but booze and weed tears me up yeah tramadol makes you hyper yeah they all just give me a buzz I don't know how else to describe it and I don't want to get used to that feeling I don't want to like that feeling because I remember liking that feeling before when I was coming down off the alcohol but people had other things I remember liking the feeling of just being uppity so I don't want to, why mess with a good thing? I'm at what I'm doing right now is working for me, you know? Hey, Taylor. Oh, they knock you out really, Vicky? Uh, yeah, they don't to me. I don't know. I'm sorry, Bane. It was so hard. Oh, yeah. I used to smoke cigarettes. I quit cigarettes one day. Like, I don't like the smell anymore. And I remember I felt very aware, like, just being out in public and stuff like that, like other people would smell good and like I smelled like cigarettes. So I just, it started bothering me and that's when I really decided to quit. And I could tell too, like when my daughter would hug me, like she didn't want to smell me. And so it was just like, eh. Do you wish you could just make your mind do that naturally? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could. I work in a kitchen, so it's the only way I can de-stress. Um, are the strips of boxing? I wish I could try THC. It's legal here, but I'm very allergic. To oh, really, Anka? Yeah, I'm not, by the way, like, don't take this as I'm promoting everybody, like, go out and 
smoke weed. I'm just saying like, I personally don't think it's a bad thing. I personally have seen it do nothing but help people. Um, but you always need to do what's right for you and your body. So if you think that you, it might be a slippery slope for you, don't try it. Don't try it. What works for me doesn't necessarily work for everybody. And I'm just, I want that to be well known. What works for me doesn't necessarily work for everybody. You really have to know your body and really have to be strong in what you want to do. You know, be strong in knowing that you just have to be strong. <laughs> yeah, no touchy, they are. Yeah, Clyde, it's just, you have to know what works for you. Like I said, that's the best way to say it. Um, I know for me, it doesn't make me want alcohol or anything like that. So yeah, Clyde, it could be too much of a trigger for people. So, um, don't do, don't say, oh, because Breezy's doing it, I should try it or I want to do it. Or because Breezy has had a good experience. You might not have a good experience. So like for me, I talk to my doctors, I talk to my family, I talk to, um, my daughter's dad about a lot of things because he's been clean and sober like 17 years. So um, I talk to him about, about a lot of things. So for me, it works for me in my life. It might not work for you. Oh, really, Bane? It's really hard to say how I was, but I threw up and shook the entire duration of the surgery. I was awake. Oh my gosh. Wow, Abby. Yeah, we could watch Christy. I'm so sorry. Sometimes you guys just have to tell me, okay, Breezy, enough is enough. Stop your yapping. All right, so the Shani and Rev stream, we could watch the one from today or the video her parents made talking about her. Ooh, that might be a good one. Okay, press one for the um, live stream from today. Press two if you want to hear what her parents have to say. Inferno. <laughs> All right, I'm looking to see what you guys say. You, you were enjoying the yapping. Oh, I'm sure I'll be yapping again soon. I seem to do. Okay, so the the two. What did we say? That? See, my I, <laughs> times where my ADHD is obvious too. We said her, what her parents had to say, right? Mm -hmm. Three for more breezy. Oh, I'll, I'm sure I'll be talking again. You know me, I talk, talk, talk. But like I said, I feel like I'm around like kids and animals all day. So like I get to be an adult with you guys. <laughs> two, okay, but remind me, did I say two was for, okay, two was for Shani and um, Shani's parents. Okay. It's a long one. All right, let me share the screen. Okay. Oh no, don't start yet. Live. No, shh. Okay. Inferno. No, don't do what Breezy does because what works for me does not work for everybody. Okay, so this is titled Shani for Christ's Father Sets Things Straight. You guys. <laughs> no. You guys are going to blame me. Okay, let me make myself small. Oh, I had a seizure from gabapentin. I'm scared of that. I've had a few seizures. Most of them were from alcohol related. But one time, a doctor, I wasn't sober. I definitely wasn't sober. I don't remember if I had told the doctor, but he put me on it, I think, for um, depression and something else. And it was supposed to help. I can't remember, but it was for, um, it was for depression or I remember I was experiencing a lot of highs and lows, but that was because I was like a drunken, crazy person. Um, I did what Bracey does 40 years ago, <laughs> but I had a seizure on it. It gave me, um, what was it called? Serotonin syndrome or something. It was really crazy. It was very weird. I know. Rest in peace, you guys. So both of her parents have passed on by now, but this was a video they wanted people to see. Um, they wanted to share what was really going on because she was lying about them a lot. So let me make this screen bigger. All right, I will mute myself, you guys, um, 
so there won't be an echo. I'll see how long I could go without talking. Clyde, Shani for Christ. It's a whole wild like rabbit hole and we've been going down it for a while and learning more together. Um, so there's a lot of videos we have up, but I'm sorry. Okay, Christy, I'm pressing play now. Hi, I'd like to re um, point this towards Shannon for Christ or Shani for Christ as most of you know her. Um, I just want you to know that things need to get set straight. There's a lot of things that she's reporting that are not true. Um, there's absolutely no reason in the world for her to go around attacking her parents or her mother, especially like she does. That woman has been uh, sick for a long time, physically, not mentally. She is sharp as a tack. I love this woman greatly. She has done nothing wrong to this girl. I don't understand why she's been acting like this, except that she's been doing it for the past 20 years plus. She's given me a great deal of. I tried. Okay, so this video that we're watching is by Crude AF. Um, hold on, I'll share the link in the chat in a minute. But so this is by Crude AF, and this video said it was uploaded eight months ago, but I feel like this was longer. So, um, hold on, I gotta get rid of this person. No, I don't wanna find love, thank you very much. Um, I think it was longer. Yeah, this is by Crude AF. Hold on, let me share it in the chat. But I feel like this was longer than eight months ago. It was a few years ago, okay. All right, so that's Crude AF's channel. I'm sorry, I should have shouted that out. All right. Grief. All my entire life that I've known her. The truth of the matter is, is she's nuts in ways. And oh, she's got I really do not understand why she attacks people after they help her so much. This is something that she's done repeatedly to a lot of you people, too. I mean, she will attack anybody that that says nice things about her and does things for her. And then she'll turn around and stab them in the back. Can I interject? Yes, go right ahead. I'm sorry. First of all, hello, everybody. This is my first live stream. I've, I've never, never done a live live stream before. I've only tested the live stream thing out. Um, I just want to make you aware that my husband was here on the day that uh, Shannon's last video talks about. He was here the entire day. We had the police over how many times that day? <sighs> Three. Three times, yeah. He was here the whole time, which is one I had thing. To take but off he work was here. Times. Yeah, he had to take off work lots of times because of her antics, for lack of a better word, and whatnot. But um, you know, Shannon's gonna say stuff no matter what. She does have borderline personality disorder, and I have not responded to her. I've closed my accounts down. Um, because she had little trolls that were bothering me. He knows because I said, oh, I'm gonna do this. I can't take this anymore. I see and I, there's a lot of people like in the community, um, the uh, great debate community that I absolutely have a lot of respect for and have been very supportive um, during this, this time when Shannon does nothing but attack her family, um, mostly me, I gotta admit it. But uh, I'm trying to take this where I'm not, you know, blubbering or crying about it or anything because I have to remember that she does have a mental illness and uh, a lot of the behavior and the characteristics that she has are characteristic of borderline personality disorder. Um, I was originally going to have this this uh, live stream, originally, I was going to do it Saturday night. I let a couple people. Oh, my gosh. Clyde said, I wish my mom had a channel. I want to make my mom. I won't really make her a channel because the Internet's, like, too scary. But my mom, if she had a channel, would, like, keep people laughing all the time. Like, she's too, like, blunt for me sometimes. Like, her jokes can be kind of, like, I don't know. They border kind of mean, but she's funny. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> and you guys, like, I know we watched a video of her mom talking about Shani before, and I noticed her mom took a lot of digs. 
a lot of digs at Shani. But I have to say from firsthand experience, I put my mom through a lot of crap, like a lot of crap, a lot of worrying about me, a lot of frustration, a lot of heartache. And in my addiction, when I, in my active addiction, she took a lot of digs at me too because she was frustrated. She was hurt. She didn't know how to help me. So it borders like, I love you, but I hate what you're doing right now. So I'm going to say this to you. So I think her mom, can you guys imagine being Shani's mom? It must have been hell for them. So I get it. Like, she's probably just really frustrated. Hey, bestie. Oops. Oh, there we go. People know. Of course, they didn't answer me back on it. And I don't blame them. Um, I think a lot of people kind of want to get away from her. And with, especially with the situation, um, with the way she's been presenting herself online, for lack of a better way to say it, recently. Um, I had to step away from her. I had to step away from people on YouTube um, that knew her and um, listening to how they're trying to figure out why she's the way she is and why she keeps lying and why, you know, she she says the things that she does and always stirring up trouble. She attracts, she likes to attract negative attention. And the purpose of this video is not to give her negative attention. It's because she addresses these things about her mother, but she forgets that her father was here during yeah. the time that she lived here. And especially that last day that she keeps talking about over and over again. But um, anyway, what I want to do is I want to have Joe take a look at the video. I'm going to bring the video up of um, what she made today and what she said. This is the first time he's ever seen one of her videos in its entirety. So um, I'm not sure I'm ready for this. You know. I'm so sorry. I hope I don't start crying. No. But I don't think I'm going That's to. That's so sad. After attacking me like this. He hopes he doesn't it's start just crying. so often. She has no reason for it. She's got a good life now, doesn't she? Well, that's, really? that's the thing. I mean, she has everything that she wanted, that she said that she wanted, and she's got it now, and she has all the weed she wants to smoke. Oh, that's, she's yeah. able to buy whatever she wants. So this is She when, called me materialistic last year, if you remember, because I was... Shani OG watchers, because I know you guys are all in the chat. This must have been when Jason still had the $700,000, right? The way he looks at her, I'm sorry, like, I know, I think they said that they've, like, divorced and then they got back together. Like, these two loved each other. Um, Because I've seen this before a long time ago. So I'm kind of re-watching it now. I, it feels like kind of for the first time because I'm going to forget a lot of things. But, um, geez. I went to the dollar store and I bought decorations for my Christmas tree. And she's the one with the. And uh, I'm not materialistic. I'm actually like this little bumpkin who, you know, grows her own food. And, you know, a lot of the things that I have are secondhand. And, and she's the one with the velour and stiletto. And it's not just me. I mean, that's just how we choose to live. The you velour know? stiletto chairs. <laughs> you didn't see those chairs, did you? No, but I mean, God. Well, I know. All right. That's her choice. You know, she wants to live like that. That's yeah. fine. I don't have a problem with that. I want her to be happy with her life. I really do. Well, and why can't she just be happy with what she has? And know that because, we're all right. Because I mean, she knows we're all right. We are okay. I mean, we got some physical issues, but damn it. We're happy together. We love each other. We have had a lot of physical issues. I had uh, two major heart surgeries in the last two years. And I actually spent a good portion of every week of my life and sometimes every other day in a chair receiving blood products. My blood, I, I was, was bleeding, bleeding somewhere internally and it took them actually. You guys, this is so sad. Knowing that they both eventually passed on because of health issues and conditions. Like this is sad that they had to make videos defending themselves against Shani. Yeah, she ate through the money and wasn't she sending so much money to Foodie Beauty, you guys? If I'm remembering correctly, didn't she send super chats and super chats to Foodie? Huh. 
actually took them two years to figure out where that was coming from. Hi, everyone, by the way. Hi, Lassie. Um, we have issues with the hospital, but and we've switched hospitals since then, and I'm doing well. I feel a lot better than I have in a long time, and my husband has had, you know, surgery. Two knee I'm, surgeries. Yeah. Kidney and, surgery. And this is about and the And I time. got another one coming up. Yeah, he does. He has another one coming up. And we just try to stay strong for each other. We're we're just hanging in here, you know. I mean, the last thing I want to do, I don't have any problem. We we I'm gonna be united on this, right? No. We don't have we don't have any problem with our other kids. We have a very None. we have a very happy family. We have grandchildren. Um we're we're actually going to be all together in November, except for Shannon and for, her family. Yeah, and well, really, honestly, when we do get together as a family, what she doesn't realize is that we all end up at some point in the holidays talking about her and how much it and hurts how much not having her. her there, and how much we miss her. You know, and we miss her. She left us. Before she left us physically. I mean, whatever this is her sad. mental illness has done to her. And, and I don't want to use her mental, mental illness always as an excuse. excuse. Yeah. Because she does um, make, make choices, choices for herself. herself. Um, she's, she's had, had every, I know, I, know, I, I get, get a lot of questions all the time from people mm -hmm. on YouTube that, you know, watch her behavior. And it's like, well, ha I know Christina Blackfeather. Um, several people have asked, you know, well, hasn't she gotten any it therapy? Is sad, Aaron. And yeah, yeah, she's gotten therapy over the years. And many times the they problem is our, our mental health system is so poor in this country yeah. that when you don't have health insurance, it's really expensive. And it's really not that coverage. great in this area either. No, it's not that great in this area. We're, we're, we're really limited up here because we're the, so far The area north. here has failed her. Yeah, we're definitely. Um, she had mental health issues here, and was and social services was aware of it. Uh -huh. And they didn't, they didn't help her. It didn't help her. At all. No, it didn't help her at all. Um, she had lost her kids while she was here, and it's, so it's I been more than I noticed that. in her video, she's always trying to blame me for calling social services. But the person that called social services on her was her ex-husband's mother. She's Dang. the one that called. And my husband always said, why didn't you just call me at work? I could have calmed her down. You know, we could have taken care of this. Oh, that's my dog. Sorry. Oh, baby. Three times? Okay, can we talk Maria. about this for a minute? This is Molly. So I, for some reason, in my head, thought the only time she's lost them is when she lost them recently. So she lost them even here. Why do they keep giving her the kids back? If there was one time, okay, I get giving parents a chance to get their act together and to change or get clean, sober, go to therapy, go to counseling. I get reuniting, but I don't get time after time after time after time. Three times. Hey, Rudy, good to see you. Wow. Her ex helped her. I don't know. I hate saying I'm going to keep my mouth shut, but I just hope that I, I'm just going to. Oh, my gosh. Little Aussie, thank you so much for the super chat. Bye, you and Bracia Jr. A nice drink together. I hope that's enough. It is. Thank you so much. I'll take her for hot cocoa. We love getting that. I got a super chat. I got a super chat. Little Aussie sent me a super chat. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Four or five times she's lost them. You guys, I don't think there should be a sixth time. That's what I was going to say. I feel so mean saying that because I'm all about reunification if like the parents change and get better and they do everything to get their kids back. Like a sixth time, do they really deserve to go through that? Well, we heard her say, Bane, the other night that she was happy they were in foster care. Thank you, Mary Jane. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. She's kind of scruffy looking. She needs a bath really bad. She's so cute. <laughs> Sorry. Don't bark no more. But um, yeah, her what happened is uh 
speaking of the mental health uh, situation, you, getting back to that, uh, it costs a lot of money to go see someone. Sometimes they want to see you every week. Sometimes they want to see you once a month. Even at once a month, the fees are so high. And when you're working on minimum at at a minimum wage job or like her not working at all, which is she does most of the time. She really, since she was the person, her first job, she's never had a job longer than just a few weeks. She, but that's yeah. also typical of people with borderline personality disorder. And um, like she'll, she'll get a job and then she'll be there for a couple weeks and something will happen and she's not going back again. And, it's happened over and over. And I think that kind it's of kind of sad. And it, it, it's, I, I imagine it has to be really hard on your, you know, esteem. It's got to hurt when you're not wanted back at your job for some reason or other. And some of it is really unfair in this world because your looks count for a lot. And that's unfortunate. But the thing is, is they see you're in some of this outfits that she's wearing or like, you know, the veil or the garish makeup and things like that oh on the videos yeah social services and, up here was watching her when when um and her you kids get, were taken you away get judged YouTube. for that alone mm -hmm. itself so if you look kind of crazy people are gonna think you are you know but the thing is is she's done some pretty nutty things to us well what i was gonna finish saying is um with the the mental health thing what happened with her is they had her um that she was diagnosed wrong she was not diagnosed with the with a borderline personality disorder originally they diagnosed her as being uh bipolar and a lot of times they can be bipolar along with the borderline personality order disorder, but the uh, SSRIs, the antidepressants that they put them on can actually make borderline worse. And in her. I really tried to go as long as I could. It doesn't matter whatever different medications they're prescribing her right now, because either way she's on drugs and they're not going to help her like they they're not going to help in the way they should while she's on whatever she's on. I think, I think she's been in addiction a lot longer than, I don't know. And as far as I'm saying, she looks crazy looking. Can you imagine her? I, we always tell her to get a job, but like she needs to clean up and get it together. Cause can you imagine going into like a store and Shani comes greeting you with that's creepy. Oh, you'll feel laugh in the look. Oh my gosh, she needs mm. her a case, lot of that's work. Exactly what, almost exactly what happened. She was, was on a pretty hefty dose of Prozac at that time. It was like 40 milligrams or something like that, oh. I think. Don't quote well, me on it, but it, she was on a pretty hefty dose of it, went cold turkey off of it, decided she had it. They, they see things in their mind. Um, with the borderline personality disorder. So she had it in her mind that Chris was cheating on her. This is before they got married. This is before they got married. She was living with him at the time with her boys and she cut her wrists and Chris's mother came over and called the police and child protective services. And that's when they had taken the boys. They, they were living in our house. But the thing is, is I wasn't home and neither was she. I was at work and she was out. At no, I was. No, I wasn't. What? I was down in North Carolina. So the kids were there? With, um, with uh, Shannon's brother, brother because he was trying, trying to get through college at the time. Oh, that's and right. I was yes. helping him pay for his apartment and that kind of thing. This is basically oh my gosh, right after good. You I mean, before you moved up. Right. Okay. So before, yeah, before I moved back up, up here, because he, he moved up here because uh, we used to live down in um, North Carolina, but Pope Air Force Base closed. Down. My husband is a, my husband's a veteran, by the way, um, and he still works uh, for the government and they closed. Pope Air Force Base down, and he ended up getting a job up here. At the Transferred up here at the 148th Fighter Wing, and um, he'd been up here for over ten years. Ten now. years now, yeah, for quite a while. But anyway, I keep jumping around. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get my thoughts together. We kind of did this impromptu. I actually wasn't going to do. I wanted to do a live stream Saturday. Nobody took interest in it. So I, yeah. I kind of said, oh, well, the heck with it. I'll just, you know, maybe this, I should just, this maybe is, this she hasn't talked about me in the last week or so. So um, I'm fine. 
boom, today she had the um, the video on. I just about bro- bringing me up on it when she doesn't even know where my new channel or anything like that. This is a prompt. <laughs> it really this is. is. A prompt too, but I want him to hear her what she says, and he was here that day. He was here through the whole thing when she came to me. Um, she had just gotten out of jail and I think she was at behavioral health. She's been in behavioral health many, many times. He can what tell was she in jail for? Because, because he's, he's the, the one who called the police for help when she used to get really wacky doodles and hold on, go crazy and yelling and screaming. And Verlo said what was amazing was watching her try to tell G-Man she would bang him if he moved Rev out. This was while he was in jail for a week. Oh my gosh, Inferno, will you send me the link to that if there's a video? We have to watch that this weekend. Shani's mom, Booty Beauty's mom, Hiller's mom. I know, Mary Jane, oh my gosh. I'd be happy to teach her how, little Aussie. I'm happy to teach anybody. I don't, I'm happy to just guide anybody or answer any questions anybody has. Like, I... It breaks my heart watching Shani live stream, knowing she's laughing through all this. And like, you guys, I'm going to tell a sad story really fast. I remember one of the times I was at the child services office because when I signed over my rights, obviously like you have to get people involved. It's not just, I can't just send my child away (laughs) and hope for the best. You know what I mean? Like there's things that you have to do. But I remember being at the office once and there was a kid crying and I heard the social worker talking to him and saying like, it's not about you. She just doesn't know how to love right now. And maybe one day, like it was the saddest thing I've ever been, like I've, I've ever heard. Not really, but it's one of the saddest things I've ever heard. One of them. It was heartbreaking to hear, heartbreaking to see the boy cry. Like it was sad. And so like watching Shani laugh about all this stuff, like, can you imagine her kids are old enough to go online? What if they get curious and look their mom up or something and they see her laughing and carrying on like, something's not wrong like how heartbreaking for them i know it's sad like it was sad it's one of the saddest things i've ever heard it's like you know she just doesn't know how to love right now and um like i want to give that social worker a hug like if i (laughs) ever see them in a coffee shop or anywhere like i would give them the biggest hug because the way they handled it like just touched my heart and oh i don't know I just don't get how she can act like everything's okay when her family's not whole. Like, it's sad. It's sad. Like, I I felt, like, horrible when I had to sign over my rights. I felt horrible with it. Like, horrible about it. Like, I felt horrible in rehab. Like, I'm the scum of the earth. Like, I have this beautiful child. What is wrong with me? You know, so it's, I just can't imagine, like, carrying on like she does and that's good, the Aussie. Don't do drugs or alcohol. <laughs> you, you were smart. Her brain's not built that way. I guess not. I mean, and drinking, drinking really heavily, heavily and uh, partying with her friends and then fighting with her friends. Who was that girl she got in that fight with and the cops were over? I don't know. I mean, how many t- fights has she been in? <laughs> It's been a lifetime of this. I shouldn't laugh. I'm just, it's just it's right just, now, it's my it's way of just, kind of coping. We're, to trying, get we're through trying to this. get through this. Yeah. I don't want to sit here and start blubbering and crying. And so I'm kind of stuffing my emotions in a different direction. That's all I know how Believe to do me, right now. Just to it'd be, be just, to... it'd be a lot easier to cry about this whole situation. But, um, yeah. Um, uh, so anyway, she had been in behavioral is. health. She went to jail. And um, she came here. It was really strange. I mean, I heard mama, mama, mama. And that's like the kind of voice she had when she was a little girl. Well, what does a mother do? The first thing a mother does is it's my child. It's just automatic with a mother, you know. And I'm like, Shannon, what's what's going on? I, 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 I so opened the door. Her, she, she was barefoot. barefoot. She smelled really bad. She just got out of jail. I guess they didn't allow her to bathe or something. I don't know. Her feet were black. 
and uh, she, she said, oh my gosh, she, she said, Chris left me, I just got out of jail, I don't know where my boys are, what, so I said, okay, come in the house, uh, one of her co-workers from when she was driving a taxi cab during that time when, when Chris cut his job back because he was going to go to school, so he was working I guess 20 hours a week at that time. When she told Chris that I hate, fucking hate you. And this is after he supported her and her children on a just slightly over minimum wage job wow. for all seven years. Yeah. You know, since they had gotten married. He actually married her to help her get her kids back. To make a united front to make it seem like she was stable and, and he was, was going to. That was at the suggestion of Aaron's husband who's a lawyer and and they they thought it was a good idea so they got married they got married christmas or it, was. Christmas. It, was christmas. Christmas. it was actually uh just a couple of days before halloween actually it wouldn't matter even if they what did is chris married. like still have that relationship yeah. with him i mean yeah. marriage was just really a piece of paper it's just, yeah it just looks official yeah, yeah we, we all had to get together as a family even mm -hmm. me and my kids that live down in north carolina and we had to have conference calls every week or something like that excuse me and thank you Aaron. Um, Miss, I abused her her whole life, was designated as one of the people that would oh, Aussie, thank intervene you. Um, when Shannon was having her problems. Hold on, I gotta give you the song. The Breezy Bunch, the Breezy Bunch, that's the way little Aussie became a member of the Breezy Bunch. Do, 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 do. Thank you so much for joining, little Aussie. I hope you will check out the community posts and the vlogs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He is okay. I'm wondering what Chris is like. Like, what did he see in Shani? Was there a time where she put on, like, a good act or something? Like, what did he see in her? I need to know. So, so this, this would never happen again. That's how it was said to me. me. So, so this, this never happens again. So was Chris's mother. He has a channel. She was also appointed, like, like a guardian. Yes. Hi, over, over what was going on. I I don't remember, remember what, what they, they called it at the time. Really, Christy. But, um, so anyway, uh, she had the kids taken away. Her mother-in-law called. Oh, what what makes her think it wasn't her mother-in-law that called when she was in Pennsylvania and they decided to move back to Colorado? Or is that an excuse? Because Colorado is where they have free marijuana. Or free marijuana. It wasn't free. Illegal net marijuana. They had right a And um, she was, she It was she free. We'd all be in Colorado. I mean, she definitely does. Um. One of the problems with borderline personality disorder is that they often um, have addiction and uh, drug abuse and impulsive kinds of um, behavior. And she has that. She clearly has that. And actually, when I was going to originally come on, I was I was going to, and I, I think one of the, I think Dr. Savage can probably vouch for this because I sent him an email about oh, it. He's actually been very helpful to me, um, believe it or not. Doc Savage? But, um, <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> Same. Happens all the Let's time. Let's show the video. Okay, okay I'm, I'm going to show him the video, but, um, oh, I had told Doc Savage that I was going to make this video, but I wanted to let y'all know from the, um, Great Debate community to Stop trolling her. There's some people. Not, Molly, is there I'm not saying all of you troll. But there are some people that troll her account, and you talk about her all the time openly on the internet, and you know, post pictures of her as a whale and all that stuff. I mean, we all get frustrated with Shannon. We all do, believe me. But um, it's not any. All of it's, us. It's not working. It doesn't change her attitude. It doesn't change her mental illness. Um, I know people are sincerely worried about her kids. Um, I don't know what to do about that. Apparently, we don't have, someone any, we don't have any say in it. I don't know what, like, getting back to Chris's mother, why does she think that maybe Chris's mother didn't see the video and maybe she called social services? I don't know. I don't have the answers for all that, but it certainly wasn't me and Joe. We don't know where she lives. She let it slip out that she was in Colorado when she was hot. If one she's day. there. If she's, she is. She talks about the altitude and um, Estes Park, going up to Estes Park. 
which is fine, you know, have a good life. Whatever. Enjoy it. It's yeah, enjoy life. your life. I know she loves it there. We've lived there before. We've lived in Colorado before. I have sinus problems. Sorry. It's one of my favorite places, but and, I'm not going out there. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. It's really expensive to live out there. It's like California prices now. It's not the way it used to be back when he was in the Air Force and we were out there having a really good time before they built up and everything um, years ago when we were first married. A lot less uh, white. <laughs> Actually, no beard at all. Military. <laughs> Oh, you're still handsome. Ah. Yes, you are. But anyway. I'm just an old man. Oh, please. <laughs> That's very sad. I don't have a kid that I should have in my life because she doesn't really want to be part of our life anymore. She does, though. This is why she makes the videos that she does. So let's go ahead and let him watch the video. You can watch Maybe his I'll response. Maybe I'll change my mind. Uh, you can watch our responses to it. Okay, so this is it. It calls. Will, will it still be report? Will it still be recording our faces as well? Yeah, watching? we're recording. We're live on right. here, so we just can't see ourselves recording. So okay, so if I cry, I'm not. Gonna... Yeah. Um. Yeah, and don't fart. I won't do that either. <laughs> Sorry. Then you'd cry. Then I would. I'd leave. I'd run. <laughs> okay, the video is called "Proof She Lies." And here we go. Proof she lies. Nice, yes. Nice line. Out of the blue. And I haven't bothered. Oh, there she is. There she is. All right. Um, as for my mother, I'm glad I have this proof now. That you lied and exaggerated things and blew things out of proportions. Because you want, you always do this. When you do something bad, Sorry, you guys. Thank you so much, Nick James, for the super chat. Hi, keep in mind her parents went to grave, went to the grave not talking to her ever again. That's sad, guys. We have one life. Don't trash it like Shani did hers. Well said, and that's really important for us to remember. And, like, if there's anybody that you think you ever need to make things right with, like, don't wait till tomorrow to do it, you know? Tomorrow's not promised to any of us, so... I don't know. Something just told me to say that if, if there's somebody in your life that you want to make things right with, or you feel like you need to, maybe it's time to do that. I got a super chat. I got a super chat. Nick James sent me a super chat. Woohoo. So Intel said, wait, what? She cussed you out, Mary Jane? Yes, this is her parents. Mm -hmm. Her dad's going to watch a video um, of her and all the crap she's been talking. Um, and I feel bad because he keeps saying, I don't want to cry. Like how heartbreaking. Thank you, Bane. Now, Mary Jane, why did she cuss you out? All right, let's watch this. You have to cover it up and you have to gaslight people and you have to treat people like shit and lie about people. You lied about Patrick. You lied about your ex-husband. And you probably lied about Brett too. Being an alcoholic? You probably lied about your sister. What? I know you definitely lied about Darlene. Because they found out that you're not who you say you are. Well, she's so picking all the right mouth. people like to, to think but she's that are great. I know what kind of human being you are. But. She's aligned on the other what side. Kind of human being you are. You could admit she's that you painting were a wrong picture right and now. handled yourself. Um, very wrong with me. You could actually. For once in your life, say sorry and repent for something bad that you've done in your life. I only you pray know, for you every single I night. I show you good favor. I mean, I believe in God. Well, you don't want to do that. I'm not like super Christian, but. And treat me like crap. And you know what? Anyone who has a bad parent, anyone who has a parent that does not love them. Why is it always me? Thing. Yeah, I don't understand like, that. Why is it me? And. You know, Mary's trying to convince everyone around. I mean, it shouldn't be you either, Jesus but why? Why does she pick me? He's mad. He's crazy. Jesus said this. Okay, what did Jesus say, my mother, Shannon? My brothers and my sister. Everyone quiet, not knowing what to say. He says, those who do the will 
of my father. Those are the ones I will call my brothers, my sister, and my mother. Well, I'm not a perfect Christian, but I I don't know what you're talking about. And we, we do happen to know the Ten Commandments. Well, well that's good enough for here. me. The Ten Seriously, that's good enough for me. Honor my father and my mother? I never meant that. She doesn't know anything about that. You've been so mm -hmm. hateful to me and so unloving. Hateful. And if you don't believe you've been unloving, she gave you life. You don't, you've never shown me anything. And okay, I'm going to stop that. right yeah, here. I've, I've never, never showed, showed her anything. I've been abusive, abusive to her her whole life. Wow. You want to extrapolate on that? No, you I've have never been, been abusive to her. I can't, I can't understand, understand where she was coming from that. She was like, like the, the one kid that I spent a lot of time with. Oh, yeah. yeah. Out of four, four, all four I mean, of our kids. When I spent a great deal of time with Shannon. She was always getting in trouble at school. I had to take off work to go to school and get her out of school at times. Many times. And then we're talking about a lot of her... Um, I mean, she was a really great child. I mean, she also used, she used to get into fights all the time at Black Mountain. Yeah, when she was a Black Mountain. That's when she was a teenager. That's when things really that's started when, going That's south. when she started going to hell. Yeah. That's, I mean, she got she made a belly button. Uh, no, I think what happened was is that... Well, it was one of the... Uh, I think she started getting worse at that time is what it was. Because when she was younger, like little signs that I missed, like when the teacher pinched her under chin and the teacher punched her in the nose. And we found out the teacher didn't punch her in the nose. She ran into his arm because. Marshmallow, are you OK? Do you need us to call anybody for you? Um, are you OK? You're waiting on the paramedic. Okay. Um, just, uh, I don't even know. I are you okay though? Like, ooh, I've been there and it's scary. Just try to stay still, okay, and stay in one place until they get there. You don't know? I'm so sorry. Yeah, stay calm. Exactly, Moon. They didn't like it when I suggested they start seeds for a garden this year. Of course they didn't. And I see people offer them jobs all the time, and they don't ever respond to those people back. They don't want to change. Yeah, Inferno asked, do you have an ETA on the paramedics? Be calm, Mary Jane said. Yes, a quick prayer. Marshmallow, I don't know your real name, so I'm just going to call you Marshmallow. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you right now, and I lift up my friend Marshmallow to you right now. I ask that you're just with them right now, Father God. Heal them from the top of their heads to the bottom of their feet, Father God. Be with them. Please be with the paramedic drivers, the ambulance. Please be with the doctors that are going to help Marshmallow, all the nurses, Father God. We lift you up, and we ask for complete healing, Father God. Please Right now, we believe in you. You say when two or more pray and gather together, it shall be done. I believe in miracles, and I know you are going to be with our friend right now, Father God. I pray for everybody in the chat right now who may be nervous, scared, unsure. Just help calm all of us, Father God, and let us know that you're with us and you have total control of the situation, Father God. We trust you. We believe in you. We love you. In your name we pray. Amen. I'm not very good at praying, but I... Uh, I know you're going to be okay, Marshmallow, okay? Please give me an update. Um, just let me know, even if it's just a DM or leave a comment so I know you're all right. Okay, Marshmallow, just stay calm, okay? They're going to take really good care of you. They're going to take really good care of you. Let us know how you are. We're with you. We're thinking of you. You're not alone, okay? Yeah, Inferno said we're with you in spirit. We are. Your only job right now is to rest and let them take care of you, okay? Thank you, Aussie. Thank you, Mary Jane. I'm not the best at praying. I remember in church when, like, everybody would want to say a prayer. Like, I was always nervous, too. <laughs> I always felt like I was praying wrong. I don't know why. Um, but this needed to be done. We got to look out for our friends and pray for each other and just be there for each other. 
Twin said, love to you, Marshmallow. Update us when you can. Um, Marshmallow is going to go be seen. They had a seizure, and so they're, an ambulance is going to take them and go get them help. Oh, really, Flower? <clears throat> yeah, they could be really scary because when you wake up, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice lately, but I have the fan on and it's cold, so that's probably why. Um, when you first wake up, like you kind of, you're unsure what's going on. You feel just very weird. It's it's scary. You're kind of not really sure what happened, but at the same time, you are. It's it's a it's a scary feeling. So um, I get them wanting to talk to somebody and just letting them know, like, hey, <laughs> this happened. Um, you can see the chat, Nick. Okay, awesome. It was his first one. Oh. Well, I pray that they find out what caused it and um, that it could be prevented somehow. Oh, twin, we're here for you. You found your tribe. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Jenny, I learned that later on. We should have a whole, well, religion is kind of a scary topic to talk on, but. Um, all right, you guys. So we prayed. I know God's got control of the situation. Um, let's just be there for each other in the chat. And I'm going to hit play so we have a distraction. Um, and if I find out any updates from Marshmallow, I'll definitely let you guys know when we go live um, tomorrow. All right. He, he was, was telling, telling all the kids, he had his arms, arms up, up telling all the kids to stop. And she ran into his arm. And her nose was bleeding. Yeah, but we, and we I, still of course, took, well, the first thing we took the I, teacher's side, or we took her side on that. We did. I mean, you're moving this around, oh, so sorry. it's going to change the live stream. Hold on. Oh, we're still on the screen. Okay. Okay. But um, you know, things like this had occurred, and, and every time I would go to school and say, and "What's we, going on here?" You know, I put my, we'd always go to I'd bat put my for mom, her. My mom combat boots on. Never had to do this with um my other kids, but. Shannon, there was always something going on throughout her whole life. Always school. to bat for her, too. And it wasn't against her ever. So I I think we both really missed the signs of her mental illness. Um, but it was gradual. It, it just got worse and worse and, it, and worse over the years. And it really, it really got worse when she was a teenager. Yeah. I mean, she got an infection because she put a, she made, she pierced her belly button. And she got an infection in it, actually. She pierced it with a cheap earring, like Walmart earring. <laughs> oh, no. Like and well, well that, that was just that was good. Yeah, that maybe, I mean, some, some people, people could say that's kid stuff, stuff. But the thing is, is it's also self-harm. Yeah. Okay, so I, I was born in 1983. I remember in junior high and high school. No, it was mostly junior high. So many girls I knew pierced their own belly button and their own ears. So I don't know, like. Do you consider that self-harm? I don't know. I never did that because I was a baby and just wanted it done professionally. Eventually, I got, like, tattoos and piercings and all that. But, like, I never did that, but I knew so many people who did. I don't know if it was just a weird thing that people in my area went through or, like, all the junior hires went through. <laughs> I don't know. I Like I said, I never did it. I was too big of a baby, but. Yeah. She didn't, she didn't cut, cut herself, herself back, back then, though. She, she wasn't. I don't as consider depressed. that self harm. Kind of doing things to get negative attention. And then, she, and then she that, hung around with the goth and then, kids. And that guy that had the, the I have your soul in my bag. Yeah, she like liked to hung, hang around with kids that um that, that were into magic, magic and Satanism mm. and all this other stuff. And black she, arts. She found that kind of um, intriguing. And her. that's that's the God's honest truth. I mean, we weren't the greatest Christian parents. We, we didn't. We didn't go to church constantly. But the thing is, is we, we didn't, didn't believe in the church. We didn't believe in organized religion. We believed in. We believe in I God. Believe we believe in God. Jesus. I definitely believe there's a God. I definitely believe in Jesus. I believe. And He in, died for our sins. Mm -hmm. We believe that, and um, we still read the Bible. I mean, we pick it up and and we read it. I'm not an expert on the Bible. Neither is he. But we try to you know, keep ourselves updated with things as time goes along. We're just not the greatest. 
I can't consider myself a holier than we thou. We can't quote it as much as she does. But the thing is, is there's a, I think there's a difference between knowing what the Bible means and how it reacts to being able to memorize words, quote, like that. But we know enough when you're, you're a bullshit I th- Christian. I think, I think you could, <laughs> I think you could take words from that Bible and twist it. And that's Anybody, been done so many times. It's true. Anybody can twist the words of the Bible. And yeah, a lot of uh, times in Shannon's case, that's exactly what she does. It's like, like G man, um, G man will go ahead and uh, get down on Miss star uh, for cussing or something like that, or whatever it is, you know, I don't know if she smokes or not. I don't know what all he says, but um, yet he can allow the behavior that Shannon does for some reason. But when somebody gives you a, a house, you know, to live in and whatnot. Yeah. The Christianity kind of goes. Phew. Yeah. But anyway, that's another story. So let's get on with this. Here's her proof. I want him to see her no, proof not that not I lied. It's a false love. You know, you never accepted me for who I was as a person. Okay, so let me see if I can find. I'm going to try to scroll I mean, Let me watch this. I don't want to scroll for it. I want to see the whole thing. Okay. I'm not going to miss a word. This is going to be a long hangout. I saw that little comment you made about me, about my ex-husbands when you weren't even there when I was married to any of the husbands because you kept going fucking crazy and abandoning me okay and that's not true mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't abandon Shannon and if you look up by a uh, borderline personality disorder they have like this obsession with abandonment and and whatnot it's like one of the biggest things that they they feel like they're abandoned all the time. It's just, that's her mental illness talking right there. Um, anyway, I'm going to try to find where she holds her proof up. And I can't find it. Weird. She does look miserable, though. She looks disheveled all the time, oh. Joe. It's really sad. I mean, her hair is always. I mean, she's. I mean, the other day she she take better care of herself. You should have seen her with the green leaves around her head. (laughs) Oh, and that part about wanting to see her mother dead, her rotting corpse dead. That's disgusting. She wanted. She wanted to see my dead rotting corpse head. On a platter, that's and disgusting. Something about putting something around Surrounded it, by leaves, dancing around it, and or dancing around something it, something like that. Don't quote me word for word, but anyway, that's not the first time she's wished me dead. She's obsessed with saying that I'm going to die. That um, she said that just before she left. He God's going to kill he, he you. He was right here. I was right. I was right next to her. He had he just had that's after that. Like, he was in the recliner a lot during that time. That's effed up. I remember. I remember times in my addiction. Do you know? And I regret this. And I'm going to be open about it. And I've apologized to my mom. I think I told her I hated her once. And it was really she was just annoying me, because I just wanted to be drunk and a blob, and I didn't want to be bothered. And she was like, doing the mom like, nagging thing at that moment, and. I hated that moment and I said that to her and I regret that so much. You guys, like, I feel so bad for saying that. I can't imagine even saying those words to somebody like, let alone your mom who gave life to you. Like, I feel like I'm being such a dork right now. Cause like I'm tearing up and stuff talking about it, but like, you have to remember her mom has passed away now and she sits there and like, on her life, she's oh, and my parents have passed. You, you told her that, Shani. Like, I don't want to hear you cry about it. You made their life hell, absolutely hell. Oh my gosh! The time while his knee was healing and whatnot, and um, he heard the whole thing. He heard the whole thing um, as it went down. But she um, I, that was just before I told her she couldn't stay there anymore. I told her she couldn't stay here anymore. He'd had enough. His, I ended up going to the hospital that day because my blood pressure was through the roof. We actually had the paramedics come. The paramedics because came I have and a lot of heart problems. Her. I have um, 
now I have a defibrillator, pacemaker, and um, so I was told after my heart surgery, I have a, a congenital heart disease that they didn't catch until I was 56. And oftentimes they don't catch hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy until later on in life because it gets or worse. they die. Yes, yeah, sudden death is one of the, it's actually the number one reason why football players die on the field, believe it or not. But we have a, people that have this, have a really thick heart and um, actually almost died in the hospital after my first surgery. And, and it's congenital and all child, all her children should get checked for it. If you haven't been checked, Shannon, she, you should. I, I told her about that when she was here. I tried to explain everything to her. That all the family, even my sister and her kids, her her son is a football player for um, a uni Stetson University, and he's a great football player, by the way. He's awesome. But um, she had him checked. She had her other son checked. They're she doing had good this year. Checked. Um, you know, the the family pulled together and everybody got checked except for Shannon. And she said, no, no, if I die, I'm just going to go to heaven because that's where I'm going to be happiest. And that is so sad. That is really, really what if, if that happens, sad. Especially what about her kids? That's what I was just going to say. That's really sad when you're a mom and I you mean, got kids. What, what about Zachary? But the last thing that she said to me is that God was going to kill me for what I was doing to her. Oh, and she, she gets, gets so dramatic. dramatic. What a Christian. Her. I'm kind of wow. proud of her. And I feel bad when I do that, but I do it. That's so. okay. You've earned your right to Everything I do, she makes me feel bad. Everything I do, wow. I mean, I, everything that I say, every you know, it, it doesn't matter. Anything she likes, it's 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 terrible. I'm trying to find uh, where she holds up the Facebook page where it says, I got the job on October 20th. Why don't you tell... That that's 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 the only other part. She just goes on about how abusive I am, blah blah blah. Why don't you tell everybody how many months she laid up in the bedroom day after day drinking alcohol? Well, I'll let you tell them which time. This, this is last, last time. See, I think she still she drinks alcohol with every one of her family members, her father several times, me several times. We had been separated for 10 years. I had remarried, and then we remarried again later on. I ended up marrying a man who was an alcoholic because I didn't have a lot of self-esteem. And um, one of the reasons that we broke up is because of some of the stuff that we, well, I don't even want to say it's it. None of their, it's not, it does not, doesn't even relate to it. No, I'm saying. What happened, in, what happened with Pat after, after, you know, she left there? Has nothing to do with you. She came to live with um, my ex-husband and I down in Florida, and um, and did she? Did, I think I think he. She says that he hit on her, and I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah, he did. He was drunk. Yeah, he, I, th I think he's he an was, a, personally he, he's an asshole. He was. She's absolutely. You know, Shannon's absolutely him. right about Pat being an asshole. She's absolutely right about the. Uh, that other guy in uh, in Houston being an asshole. What we beat the, the, the hell out of her. We were able to reconcile. We were able to reconcile. Very back. dangerous, man. We were able to reconcile our marriage. To be honest with you, after Shannon was gone on her own, because wow, um, we, we love each other. other. We do. We truly do. And we and actually, we always did love. And each we other. actually stayed best friends while we were divorced during that time wow. period. I mean, I could. Always pick up the phone, or he could always pick it. We both of us, we could always just pick up the phone and talk to one another because we had kids together. The thing in that common. was the most important thing to both mm -hmm. of us is the kids. And the, you know, something? and they, they weren't little kids when this happened, they were all um, uh, young adults. The kids, the other kids were very happy that we had a good relationship, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was really important um, because it was less traumatic to Michael or and Joey oh, and Aaron. That but way. you you've got to figure that. And, um, and how hopefully, to some extent, it might, hopefully, it could have helped Shannon too. It did contribute know. to us breaking up. It really did. It wow. just seemed like it was hopeless. It was just nothing but constant turmoil in our house all the time, and um, neither of us could take it anymore. And we had to change things up. They do, and, um, I admit it. I went 
you know, I, I found the wrong guy. Um, wow. If my husband passed away before me, I would never find another guy again, to be honest with you. Oh I mean, gosh. I'm perfectly, I, I am now secure with myself. You know, I just, I don't need a man to take care of me. But I have my best friend. and That's so cute. You know, she will spin the story completely different, you know, about it. Yes, you are. You know, oh, I, I they're know so cute. We're each yeah. other's best friend. Yeah. Anyway, she posted in this video that um, on October 20th that she got the job, which is proof that she got a job. Now, please tell everybody how long she laid in bed this time. Let's see. She got here in what, July? June or July? June or I think it was late June, actually. I had just had my abdominals. I had abdominal yeah. surgery on top of my and heart surgery and the anemia, too. Somewhere in there, she was doing a little bit of taxi work. And Not when she was with us. No, she couldn't get that job she back. She couldn't get the job back. They didn't want to hire her back. And um, the whole, she, she worked for some kind of as a nurse's aide or something like that. Or, or yeah, she for had a mental a, health thing. Her ex extensive medical background um, she had a two-week training well she tells people this stuff joe oh, and yeah. then it makes me look like right. an idiot when I mean, she it's she was just taking care of some people is it just an adult babysitter basically type of deal and uh oh she's also not a kickboxer <laughs> she had, i saw that she said she was like she was a kickboxer. she never ever learned she that. wasn't a military brat she wasn't a military brat. Her no, father. Um, I was out of the military when she was born. Yeah. And um, there was one job that he had at Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida. But that's a civil service And job. she went to live with him. Now tell him how that turned out. Oh, that turned out real good. I found her in bed with a 15-year-old and she was an 18-year-old. What the hell? I mean, I had to chase a naked 15-year-old boy out of my house. What the hell? After they were caught together, there's a lot of history. Oh, there's there's stuff. Oh my on god! And it's oh, I want to show you something. I want it's you to, just. I don't remember hearing that before. Look at this. Most no, look at this. Really Someone like came that. on with a sock. I know flower. What and it that? says St. Louis County Social Services. We live in St. Louis County in um, Min northern Minnesota, and it says CPS should be seeing this and all your videos for the sake and safety of your children. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. All our ch all my children are adults. No, her children. Her children? Yeah. She's. They're not. They're not in the. Let's she's clear not. something up because thick shades uh, mirrored my video where I talked about the boys when they were peeing on the floor. Right. When and you hiding went to and when, hiding toilet paper behind the toilet. Oh, the I haven't even gotten to that. I didn't even tell them. Okay, I wish that. they wouldn't I share that part. All that stuff up. Joe, right. it's ugly, but. You know, Just, she wants to keep this up. I know, but I don't gonna, think you... I'm going to let them know what really went on here. Yeah. Okay, this is the part where I don't agree with them. Like, I get they're trying to say everything about Shani and exposing the truth. I wish they wouldn't talk about whatever was going on with the kids. I might have to get a snack in a minute because my stomach keeps growling. So if you guys can hear it, yes, that's my stomach. <laughs> It's loud. Um, okay, so let me get it straightened out so we could do it. Sure. She, how long did she have that job at the nurse? It wasn't a nursing home. It was like a group home. It was home, a group home. It was a home. And they were disabled people. Yeah, probably two weeks. Just like I had said over I, and I, over again. I brought her up there a couple of times, picked her up and things like that. And she other times I let her use my truck. Yeah, she used his truck every day while she was here. We bought her clothes. We bought the boys' clothes while she was here. She was not abused or mistreated whatsoever. Bought her makeup, got her hair done. Uh, there was a video that she had. Let her dye, let her dye her hair. Had her dye her hair. Several she, times several while she was here. That's yeah. when it started getting really crazy. But um, We bought the dye. I bought it. I know I did. Yeah, it started getting crazy after that, though. That was during the time when things started really going downhill for some reason when she started dying her hair. And the thing is, is she didn't want to help out with how, any kind of household responsibility. No household responsibility. I think she emptied the dishwasher once. <laughs> and she, she doesn't clean up after her boys. She, she left, left the house constantly. And me alone with the boys without asking me oh, whatsoever. Wow. She did the same thing to her brother, by the way. 
She did this. Well, the first time around. Yeah. Well, tell them what was she used to do. He was in college at the time. He was in college. Uh -huh. He had to take off college courses. And it helped it helped contribute to him having to drop out of school. And he, he also back in and he also Why? wanted to leave the house because of her too. And that's oh. the no, she used to go and party all the time. Back then she was with women. She she had she's uh she's bisexual and that's fine. But um she drove the women that she was with crazy too with oh, her I antics bet. that was going on. One of them I put wouldn't a, date um, Shani, heck no. What was that? Restraining order. Restraining order. order. Mm -hmm. On what? Shannon. I don't remember her name, but she had dark hair and she was kind so of that's actually, she kind of an oriental. That's actually girl. two people that had a restraining order on did her. Did he have to have We've that never part? filed a restraining order on Why Shannon. Did he have that We've not part? called social services on her. Um, Joe and I, we tried to deal with things as we could because we do have grandchildren. We tried to give them whatever we could. They stayed in the master bedroom. Um, Joe slept on a small bed that in the in the extra room that we have. Um, she the, slept the third, on the couch. I slept on the couch the whole time for months. We're talking. Months. We're talking from June to Christmas time. And that whole time. That's that she, half a year. The whole time that she wasn't working. What was she doing? Smoking pot, getting high, drunk, and making videos like this crazy with Jason. Everything boohooing. Jason doesn't want me. He said he said mean things to me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of those. She'd sit in the backyard and she cry said that. and boohoo. That she 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 get drunk publicly. I she mean, she's in that. the backyard smoking and drinking pot. I don't know for sure what really went down, but she said that her, um, Chris raped her. He denies it. And to be honest with you, I'm not so sure I believe that really happened because she took about four months before she went to rape crisis. Four months. And a lot of women don't report rape. I, I, I was just going to say, you need to say that. that. But she didn't even take care of the STD. What the? If she didn't have one, thank God. Okay. No. This time. She's this had time? Them before. She's had them before. <gasps> Um, this keeps know. getting worse. He knows. He knows that because he was dealing with that at that time. I had to. I had to take her to these places sometimes. Yeah, it's been a hell of a life, life with her. her. It really, it truly sounds has. like it. And now she is always. Uh, she's obsessing over me dying. She wants me dead, and she, God is going to kill me. I mean, she mentions it in all her videos, and I think it has to do with this guy. I don't know if you know him, David Weiser. Cause he's always like, Oh, my mother, I'm glad she's dead. Da, 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 da. He kind of egged it on, eggs it on. And she's always, but, um, you know, the, the simplest thing for her, for Shannon is just to move on, forget all this shit and that ha that she thinks happened in the past because it didn't happen that way. Shannon, this, this, I know for a fact, and I would swear to God in front of St. Peter and anybody else that you want to put up in heaven there. That it didn't happen the way you're saying it did. Yeah, and it's really sad because just she, all she, I want you to do is have a good life. That's all we that's worry. It. That's all we worry. You don't about. have to talk to us, you, but don't talk about us and say lies like you are. But she doesn't talk about you. It's always me. It's well, always me. And well, I <laughs> let me tell you something. I can't drive because I after my heart surgery it affected her eyes. I had a fluid changes and I ended up bursting blood vessel in my eye and I could not see it all. I only saw brown out of my uh, right eye. I had to turn my driver's license in because I couldn't pass the, the um, vision test. And um, so I'm still where I, and what they did was is they voided my driver's license. So now I actually, because it's been so long, it's been, since last year at this last time, year, yeah. because I had to um, get that taken care of before Joey got married mm -hmm. so I could get give identification to Homeland Security because he got married on a they got married on a cruise ship. So you had to be last able year. My OK, I didn't see that clip, small lady, but I saw a clip on Twitter today where Shani was looking at herself in the bed skirt and she was like, I look so skinny today. I have to find that clip. I'm going to look for it tomorrow and post it. But she's literally wearing the bed skirt. You know the bed skirt. The same one she's been wearing. And just eye-effing herself and talking about how skinny she looks. 
Yeah, Melly, I agree with you on that, that there's no need to go into this much detail. But, okay, Shani has addiction problems, yes. I saw your comment earlier, but her mom didn't make her an addict. Her mom didn't tell her to go do drugs or drink alcohol. So, well, maybe her and her mom didn't get along. Maybe they didn't have the best relationship. Her mom, whatever her mom did, did not make Shani go pick up. Yeah, it must have been the Delta 8 talking like, I don't know. But yeah, she was IFing herself and talking about how skinny she was looking. It was something else. My, yeah. my, young, my, uh, That's not my May. youngest son, my and this is oldest May. son. We're talking about Hey, Minka. Yeah. Hey, Sarah. But anyway, um, getting back to the boys peeing, William doesn't lie. When he peed on the floor yeah, upstairs, what did he say, Joe? No. <laughs> I'm going to skip this. Zachary did it. He didn't. It just it was filled with urine. They were peeing. Um, Sisters don't want to talk. Your sister doesn't want to talk about it. I'm sorry. I know it's on the internet, and I guess if they uploaded it, whatever, like, that's on them. But, like, I don't want that on this channel. Like, whatever was going on with the boys, I know they're trying to make a point to be like, Shani wasn't taking care of these issues, I still wish they wouldn't share that much about the kids. Um, yeah, I don't want to hear about the kids. So we ended up where we ended up. Um, I just don't want it on here. I just don't feel comfortable. Your brother doesn't want to talk about it. And Michael certainly is devastated by the things you've said about him. Yes, her brother is gay. And she He's now all of a sudden, oh, by the way, she's pro-gay now. All yeah, he sudden. was the nicest person in the world, and she owes him an apology. It was horrible how she treated him and the things that she said about him and to him and behind his back. It, it's It's been a nightmare, and he's never hurt anybody in his life. Honestly, he, he's a really great guy. He is, he's taking care of her children. He's the um, nicest guy in the world. He is. He's my youngest son. He He's a really he, – I'm really proud of the person that he is. and um. You know, I don't care what the Christians say about him. They don't understand who he is as a human being. And uh, Jesus wouldn't say anything. No, I don't him. believe that Jesus would. Not at all. I mean, he loved everybody unconditionally, unconditionally. What part of that doesn't anybody get? That's what I don't, you know, that's what screws it up for me. Would Christianity? You know, they want to tell everybody else how they're supposed to live you know, while they're living, <laughs> well, the, how they want to. The Bible, the Bible, the first part of the Bible, the Old Testament, is in the Torah. It's in, um, it's also in um, the book that the Arabs find the Torah, the Torah, and what is the other the one? Quran. The Quran. The Quran. Thank you. And it's, the words I like to follow are the words of Jesus. And that's how I think we should all live, because if we did, we'd be living in a much better world and happier for each other. It's a world of love. Jesus wanted a world of love. His ideas is what basically what he's saying. Jesus's ideas, that his idea of, of love and um And I'll tell humanity. you something. If you believe in if you believe in God, you believe in Jesus, you should believe. Here's my views, not that anybody asked. I believe. Hi, Beth. I believe that God loves everybody, and I believe that people are born the way they're born, and God makes no mistakes, and love is love, and God is love, and that's what I believe. Believe in Jesus' word. And things do evolve, because the Son evolved from the Father. Well, Shannon fits her narrative. Um, I, and I, she I would, fits her narrative yeah. into um, what she can quote out of at the, the time. She can quote out of the Bible at the time. Yeah. She, Look at the whole picture, sweetie. That's what you need to do. I want her to stop saying that I'm going to die. I'm actually so much more healthier now than I've been in the oh, last my couple heart years. I mean, you can, broken right now. See, even by my old video, I mean, I was pretty oh, stressed out when I made that video that um, so Dick Shades happy to hear that. mirrored. And I'm glad that he did it. Um, actually, I have to give Thick Shades a lot of thank yous because I trusted him 
And um, she was saying that uh, I lost my nursing license because of drug abuse. Not true. Which is further from the truth. I've always been. Not true. Yeah. Never. Never would that happen. Not in a million years. I was. I know. Are you all right? Yeah. I was a good nurse. I really was. You know, I wasn't the best of anything in my life. Um, I I work towards towards improvement all the time. That's just how I, I am. A year she so loves so your family. Hard myself. She loves. She loves. She loves me. She loves your family. Aww. All of her family. She still loves you, Shane. But anyway, she and said, I love you too. But oh. I, I'm not putting up with this. Anyway, I can't live like that. She okay, said you guys, that, um, let's take a I two minute break. My license for drug abuse. Because my stomach is growling so loud, I have to keep muting every time it growls. Let's take a two minute intermission. <laughs> um. No, Heidi, I still need to watch that. I need to watch the videos that everybody's been sending me on the CJ thing. Because um, people wanted my opinion the other night and I hadn't watched what happened. I don't even know what happened. I started to watch it and I fell asleep. But I need to look for the Truthfully Trisha episode. All right, I'm going to go get this pasta salad I have in the fridge. And we're going to be snacking and watching this. <laughs> I'm so hungry. All right, let's say two to three minutes and I'll be right back, okay? What a place to be paused at, though. But, okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. Or three.
Okay, I'm back, but I'm taking a few bites of my pasta salad before <laughs> I unmute for a while because I need to get some food in my stomach. So hold on one minute. Okay, I'm glad that I'm here alone because I started laughing like a crazy person in the kitchen. This is how you know like I'm getting tired. I'm laughing at something that's not even really that funny. Like when I was hanging out with my family earlier, my mom was talking to my dad and he was like, oh, she said, oh yeah, me and Breezy couldn't hang out till later because she stays up all night working now. And my dad was like, what the heck is she doing? What kind of job does she have now that she has to stay up all night, like all concerned? And she was like, well, technically she's, which, how did she say it? She's like, she's either putting people to sleep or keeping them awake, depending on which way you look at it. And I was just kind of ha-ha at the time. And for some reason right now in my kitchen, like it hit me what she said. And I was laughing hysterically like a weirdo. <laughs> so that's, does that happen to anybody else? At the middle of the night in your kitchen, just have a moment where you're laughing hysterically at like something that's not even really that funny, but it is because you're tired. <laughs> All right. Did everybody get their snacks? So I always have in my fridge this uh, Mediterranean pasta salad from Sam's Club. It's so good. It has kale and um, feta cheese, pasta, sun-dried tomatoes, um, Parmesan. It's so good. Oh, my gosh those moments yeah I felt like such a weirdo I'm like oh my gosh like thank god nobody's here <laughs> laughing like a crazy woman in the dark <laughs> I laugh at my own jokes my mom could just be so dang funny sometimes I don't know and it's true depending on which way you look at it at it I'm either putting you to sleep or waking you up but the, my poor dad the way he was so concerned well what the heck kind of job does she have now like thinking I quit YouTube and I have like this secret job that I'm up all night, you know? No, not really. Just watching Shani for Christ. <laughs> Can't sleep. All right. I'm weird. I'm probably going to just play this for a few minutes so I can finish my food. Oh, hold on. Now my dog's trying to knock it over. Chachi, let me have my moment, please. I'm hungry. <sighs> all right. Yeah, we're all messed up a little bit. <laughs> Twin. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can imagine what was going through his head. He's like, what the heck is she doing when she's up all night? Because I think she was telling him. And she also said, like, how I didn't go to sleep until, like, 4 a.m. I was telling her. And, yeah, because, like, I'm not one of those people who could just, like, lay down and fall asleep. Like, it's a process. Is anybody else like that? Like, I have to, I check my phone. I'll answer some comments. Then I have to find something to fall asleep to, like a podcast or something. So I have to, it takes time to find exactly what I want to fall asleep to. And then I usually change it like three different times because the person's voice is bothering me or they're talking about something that's not necessarily going to put me to sleep. And then I sit and think about God knows what the stupidest stuff. Like, I wonder if jellyfish can re like really know that they exist. Do jellyfish know they exist or do they just float their whole life not knowing they're there? Like, I don't know. This is the kind of crap that goes through my head. So it's like such a process. Yeah, but Bane, I have to listen to somebody talk to fall asleep. Because if I'm just laying there, like I think of like everything bad that's happened in my life or everything that I regret. And like, I'll just replay those moments over and over. That's just the way my effed up head works. You listen to Judge Judy. So I used to listen to Kendall Ray and Josh, but I don't listen to them anymore. Um, I, I fall asleep to like cruel world, happy mind or like documentaries or for a while I was falling asleep to true crime. I don't know why. I think I liked the person's voice. What was his name? Rob? Yes. The mind racing. My mind goes all the time. So like, I can't just lay there and fall asleep. It's a process. I have to think about everything. Then I have to listen to somebody else talk. So I don't think it's just, it's a whole process. 
and I have to have the fan on because I need that noise. I'm a weird, weird person. Like, I know my ex, my at the my daughter's father, he used to fall asleep like as soon as his pet head hit the pillow. And like would wake up to use the restroom and I'm still there, like scrolling my phone or reading a magazine or doing whatever I was doing. I can't just fall asleep. It's so weird. Always need something. Yeah, same. Your husband fall. I know. I envy people like that. I wish I could do that. I so wish. Six shades, do me a favor. I'm going to give you some information. All right, needing to, to eat. Anybody else? I told him how to get into the North Carolina State Board of Nursing. They have compact license, which is good in several different states. I could probably work in Texas under my North Carolina license if I wanted to because of the compact license system. Um, and uh, anywhere that you have any discipline problems, it will show up in all it's, 50 states. It's nationwide. It's nationwide. Um, they don't let that get away with. So I told him to look it up and he proved it. It's in the video that he made uh, on uh, it also says his if Uncle you, Sam and account. It'll also say if you've been fired, doesn't it? No, it doesn't say anything like that. It's called dis under disciplinary action. Okay, that would be, I have wouldn't none. firing be that? Huh? Wouldn't firing be a disciplinary action? So it would say it, that. Yeah, but it's un it's not under it's not a separate category. Okay. is what I'm saying. It, it, everything falls under disciplinary action because that is a disciplinary action. You're right. So nothing, nothing bad. She's done nothing wrong in said, her career. No, nothing. She's she's the best nurse I've ever seen, <laughs> and I trust her with my health. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> I learned a little bit along the way. <laughs> Well, she's, I'll tell you something. Another thing she's done is she's seen some of the medicines that some of these doctors have tried to give me. And she says, no, no, you can't take that. That'll react with this, or you're going to have a really bad reaction. You can't do this medicine. So talk to your doctor. And he says, oh, my God, I would have given this to you. I'm sorry. Yeah. And one, that's the truth. One thing about living up here, um, we're...
hey, am I here? <laughs> I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, everything like shut off and crashed. And even on my phone, like I couldn't get back into YouTube or StreamYards or anything. It was so weird. I almost was wondering, I'm like, did they just like, did somebody strike my video? Like what the heck happened? Hi, <laughs> thanks for waiting for me. I'm committed to watching as much as we can before I have to go to bed. Um, I'm sorry that happened, you guys. I have no idea what, I don't even know what happened. Yay, I'm back, okay. All the freaks, it's Friday the 13th. Maybe that's why everything crashed. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to go back to the Shani video. Um, just hang with me for just a minute. All right. And that's the truth. One thing about- Okay. It happens, yeah, I don't know. Like, I think YouTube hates me lately. I, they don't send my notifications out. Like, the other day, some weird glitch was happening where, like, it said I would have, like, 1,500 views, and then I would click on the video. I'm just throwing out an example. I don't remember exactly. But then I would click on the video, then it said, like, I had 200 views. And it did that for several videos. And then, like, I lost a ton of subscribers. Um, I don't know. Just weird things are happening with me and YouTube. I think it, like, I don't know. Maybe Chantel really does know somebody at YouTube and she's trying to <laughs> mess with me. <laughs> All right, did I miss anything? Again, thank you guys. It's so nice you waited for me. All right, I don't, we don't have, well, we, we have a lot left of the video, but let's see how much we can get through. I'll try not to talk up here. that much. Um, we're I'll try. About two. Not even um, sharing the dang screen. Oh my really gosh. Isolated. We're really landlocked because we're kind of surrounded by a huge lake. Here we go. Lake Superior. And um, the medical care up here, um, I can't say of the current hospital that Sorry. we're at, the previous hospital that we had, made a lot of mistakes along the way. And um, it prolonged the, um, not only prolonged my, our both of our sicknesses and what we've been going through because we're old geezers now, but um, it threw us into massive debt, which gets back to Shannon not working when she stayed here. Um, Jason was giving her money every week and, sh and uh, G-Man started a uh, go out. GoFundMe account. Yeah. There was a girl on um, from the Christian community that gave her a thousand dollars. She blew it before the week was over on makeup on booze, in a week on clothes on pot and booze she went expensive. out and bought the kids something for dinner because she didn't want to have to make dinner for them or anything like that it's not like i might force her to make dinner i mean william wouldn't eat anything he'd be like this because he was so used to eating fast food all the time it was just easier you know i guess for her you know than to have to go through anything else um they were the kids this is how much they were driving us crazy. They were. This is, before, this is before she moved up he, here. My son's an electrician. He had an internship at the time. Um, and, uh, you know, I was on the phone with him all the time. He basically lived in his bedroom just to get away from her during that time. It That's was, sad. It was just awful what he was going through. So, okay, we've established Shin hates me. You were here the day she's bullshitting about mm -hmm. um and now getting back to william and no can you stop talking about the them floor how deep was the oh, oh i'm gonna lose my my picture here he, we bought christmas nice presents. christmas presents yeah, for the kids a lot they're actually still wrapped and still in the bag we actually Sorry, i just don't want to talk about the kids relationship. like that and like i said we're going to be spending time with the family down in north carolina Oh, the whole family's coming. Michael's going with us. Girl, can you chill? This is two bags full of toys for the boys. Okay. Two bags. Yeah, they're still That's wrapped. That's sad. Everything, yeah. Everything's still wrapped. All right. Pediatric nurse, I love children. Why would I tell my grandson that I'm going to kill him? But <gasps> it doesn't matter. Uh, she's oh, this, yeah, yeah. this is his, her histrionics. You know, there's nothing I can do about that. We're sure talking about the boys a lot. 
Shannon, you know, David, it says, then you can help her repair things that are not right. She would be more receptive to it. No, David, she's actually she not. She doesn't want anything you to do are, with us. You see, you don't know what we've been through over a lifetime. Everybody in her family and her outer okay, family, babe, like thank her you. laws everybody has tried to cut, cut her a break. When, when she's, she's had her crazy times, mm -hmm. they say, oh, that's her mental illness talking. That's not her. But... She, she repeats, repeats things, things over and over again, and everybody is against her, and everybody is doing something against her. You can't repair her. I can't repair Shannon. She doesn't want to be repaired. She does what Shannon does. She chooses not to. I have said this before, and the one that actually made me aware of it was a psychiatrist that I had talked to about what was going on. You know, she can't manipulate. She shouldn't be manipulating her mental illness to the point where um, she uses that as an excuse. And that's exactly what she does. And she goes and and yes, she definitely goes through periods when she's having um, lucid lucidity. Yeah, she yeah she will be lucid at times and just fine. And she won't talk about her family at all or anything like that. Mm -hmm. That's you can get along then, with her. Yeah, and the, the weird, weird part sorry, about that Brandy. is we're all like, "Oh, great, maybe she's maybe she's pulling together." We're all like rooting for her, mm -hmm. and then bam, she hits us all. Let me you tell you the, something. You, you know what else you say? I shouldn't tell you. How would you like it if you were trapped in your basement? She has trapped me in the basement what? in this house and wouldn't let me out of it. In and a was basement, screaming at me, holding the Bible up. Because I told her about a study that I read out, about manna from heaven, how these mushrooms actually grow in the desert, and they actually have a lot of the nutritious properties of bread. And I said it could be that that's what you know they they deciphered as the manna for heaven was. Hey, There's a whole bunch. Of, you can Google it yourself if you want to. It seems like a real pissy excuse to have a fight though, with your mother. You want my opinion. It sounds like they just fought a lot. They just didn't get along. I don't she know. helped me in the bedroom, and then I, I got or in the basement, uh -huh. and then I, I ran upstairs. I went in my bedroom. I have pictures of this, too. This happened several years ago when she was staying with us, when Chris was with her, when, when she was married to Chris. And um, she followed me upstairs to the bedroom, knocked my dresser over. She broke... Um, something that my other daughter had given me wow. for years and years that fell off the dresser. Everything was all over the floor. I was trapped underneath a drawer from the dresser. <gasps> it was on my leg. She did this to her and mom. And I couldn't do anything because I pushed the dresser up against the door to stop her from coming in. And I was looking for my cell phone so I could call my husband so he could get home because she was torturing me. But eventually, um, how did we get her out of there then? I can't remember. You came home from work. He came home from work and um, we said, that's it. You're out. That the was, cops that, were called. That was the first time. Wow. Yeah, that was the first. Well, not the first time. Well, that was the, the second first, time. The, yeah. Hi, celebrity. Second. That was the second time. It's been at times. This, at oh, this poor house. parents. That all the other places right. where she lived. Yeah. So I don't know why you could say, oh, my God, David. This is This is what happened. What happened? Even that, if it were true. Yes, it is true. It's you know absolutely what? true. If she wants to spill things about people and, and say outrageous things, uh -huh. I mean, I've got my husband here to back me up. It isn't just me talking, David. It's not just me. I mean, you know, he was here the whole time. So, Delta, I don't think she's as sick as she claims she is. I think she's one of those people who like to be sick. Like, so they don't know who they are if they're healthy or okay. Like they have to have an illness. I think there's a name for it. I can't think of it right now. Um, maybe she might have, the, I'm assuming she has high blood pressure, but I don't think she has most of what she's claiming she has. Um, yeah. David must be a Shani fan. I don't know what else to do anymore. I can't stop her from making these videos about me. She makes it sound like, but I would be so forgiving. She's never been forgiving, 
ever, not once. Everybody else is always wrong. Thank you, and she's right. And that's how it's always been. And it doesn't matter. She told me that I would never see her again. Or Stockholm, is that it? Video yeah. After video, after video. And I've been collecting them, by the way. I have them. I have them. And I'm saving them because she's threatened to call, um, or she's threatened to um, take it to court and take legal action or whatever. The problem with that is, is I don't that believe her either, Abby. Uh, the cops coming over as many times as she did. They she's, have she's got a losing her here. kids. Wow. Um, getting arrested twice for accosting people. And and oh. What about that with uh, Chris's brother? That was for uh, assault. Exactly. That's what I was trying to say. I want to watch a That's Chris video. She pushed one of these him days. through a door. I mean, she's what? a big girl, you know? I mean, yeah. she's pushed me over a bike. What? Yeah. She's I, my ankle. Yeah. <gasps> she's, she's physically violent. And he's six foot four. He yeah. was younger then, too, when that happened. She She's a real strong girl. So you can understand. I'm five foot five and she outweighs me by a good i don't know a, really city? a few hundred pounds more okay um when she had me blocked down in the basement oh, i Mary was terrified Jane. okay because i was married to a man who was an alcoholic and, and was abusive he was he yeah. would get abusive when he was drunk i got dragged across pavers one night hi so, sachi and that marriage ended I'm sorry. And that other guy down in, um, what's his name down in Houston, Houston there? Brett? Yeah. He would beat the hell out. He beat the hell out of her a couple oh, of hold times. On, I've guys. seen the results really? of that. Yeah, he was always there for me, even though. I had to. I so we could go and watch Foodies Couples. <laughs> Did they really post? I'm not even subscribed to them. Let me see. Yeah, they did. Wait, did they? Yeah, couples vlog with sharks. What do we think? We could finish this or we can go over there. It's 13 minutes. I have probably a good 20 minutes left in me before I get really tired. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? I'm open for whatever you guys want to do. Yeah, Heidi, I either think it's because she doesn't wash and bathe and dry the area and clean her clothes. Um, okay, we could watch the new one. Um, or two, when I was looking at them, I'm like, it kind of looks like burns. I don't know. A palette cleanser. Okay, yeah, this has been a lot. So I have this saved. We could finish the rest of this um, later. All right, let me stop sharing the screen. Like I said, I have like probably 20 good minutes left in me. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting very sleepy, which is a good thing because that just means I'm going to sleep really good. All right. Sala and Chantal. Couples vlog with sharks and dinosaurs in Kuwait with a quick Megan movie review. Megan is a... All right. Oh, she's doing a fake annoying voice, you guys. Well, I mean, we've been tortured enough with the things about Shani. We may as well just, you know, end this with a bang. <laughs> it's the not washing. Yeah, it's probably a mixture of things. And she picks. We see her pick all the time. So I can imagine a bump happened or some kind of something started and she started picking at it. YouTube, do not F with me right now. I'm tired and I'm not in the mood. You share the screen, please. I'm not in the mood. Oh, you just watched it before coming here? Hi, Melly. <laughs> no, it ended tonight according to her and Pete's chat. What? Okay, are we ready? Watch, she strikes me. Okay. I, she okay so the band was at Friday so it's Friday all right here we go you guys this is a 2022 horror movie produced by James Wan and Blowhouse we love James Wan movies such as The Conjuring and Insidious he also produced the Annabelle series 
His films are uniquely creepy, so we were excited to see that the film got off. Awesome Whose voice is this? The audience score was a bit less, but that happens. Regardless of the tomato meter, we love to judge the experience for ourselves. Hello guys, how are you doing? Hi King Beezer. The film is about Megan. Whose voice is this? Toy for any child. <laughs> A robot friend with unprecedented artificial intelligence who syncs with their primary user to give them the ultimate personal experience. Megan will do anything for their human friend. Play, counsel, listen. I want to see this movie so bad. Evil things, apparently. You will have to watch to find out. It's a perfect blend of horror and comedy. I know it's hers, but she doesn't talk like this. We recommend this film for the perfect date night. Whoa! Amazing view. <laughs> oh, I know it's foodie, stuff. but I mean, like, whose voice is she? Is she calls my voice fake. And the water and everything. Oh, those are sharks. Yes, they're sharks, <laughs> foodie. The one who bites you. <laughs> no. Hello, guys. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Come, guys, and join us in this journey. I'm trying to get a good thumbnail. And they're together. <laughs> she just calls my voice fake all the time. And I was like, whose voice is that? Like, you don't talk like that. Okay, trying to get a good thumbnail on. They're all real plants. Yeah. Okay. I love the natural things. It's like a cave here. It's like a cave. Waterfall. Waterfall, yes. We see. Hello. Hello. What does it say? Whoa. What are we doing? Are there any bugs? Oh, we're zooming in. Good night, Heidi. They do look like mother and son. It's a forest and bugs uh, sound. The way he IFs himself, you Hello, guys. Good night, Aussie. We are assistant. No, okay, enough of that. I know, I'm getting seasick. It looks like durian. Uh, this inside the tree. Oh. Yes, thank you. All kinds of bugs, I knew it. Whoa. I knew it. First time I see this. Hello, sweetie pie. Sweetie pie. They touch everything, Delta. Everything. They're like little kids. <laughs> Tiger. City. <laughs> Bear. Okay, you're moving me away around way that too much. Good. He does eye up himself. Okay, well that's just stupid. I will kill you, Chantal. <laughs> okay. Oh. Don't panic. Really. It's like mother and son. My nephews would do that to me. Oh jeez. This is so unnecessary. It wasn't very funny, no. Three of them. Four. More shots? Yeah. I don't think so. Are you going to buy Salah some cotton candy on this trip? And a toy? If you guys know this, a souvenir? Just, uh, write it down in the comments. 
Yeah, it's hard. Look at the fin. Agreed, Ashley. Oh. Maybe not. Yeah. Put your finger in it, Foodie. She would. Crocodile. Hello, buddy. Your teeth is so long. And from the top, as usual. As usual? Did he say as usual? You like the place, baby? Yeah, it's really Baby. Cool. Time to go down. The baby's yeah. so forced and like so dramatic. To the cave. I'm sorry, Minka. Oh, cute. Oh. <laughs> and it's you all the way. Yes, you along the way. Hi. She kind of sounded like Minnie Mouse a little bit. Oh. Marshmallow's back, you guys. Oh. Hold on, I'm going to pause it just for a second. Hey, are you okay, Marshmallow? They do look uncomfortable. It's so forced. Like, there's just no chemistry there. Hey, how are you feeling? He said he's holding her money until she goes home. Wow, you're okay? Oh, I'm so glad. What did they say? Yeah, we need an update. It's so fake and so forced. Like, the baby... Like, you know, when you've been in a relationship for a while, like, it just comes naturally. It doesn't have to be forced, like, baby. And, like, all dramatic. <laughs> I'm glad to see you back. Um, I hope you're resting. I know when I've had seizures before, like, it's exhausting. They just gave you medicine. Okay, we'll make sure you take it as prescribed and a shot. Okay, and just rest. Just rest. Just rest, okay? I'm so glad you're okay, though. See, our prayer worked, you guys. Okay, this part's kind of relaxing. The sea world. Marshmallow, I've been there. They gave you medicine. They wouldn't have released you if they didn't feel okay with it. Just try and rest. That's all you need to do. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Hold on, Marshmallow. Don't think I'm a weirdo, but this this worked for me. One time when I had, um, I was having DTs really bad. And like towards the end of my drinking, I was having seizures like a lot. Um, I remember being scared to like lay down and fall asleep. So like I propped myself up. So if you have to prop yourself up with a bunch of pillows or blankets, put it behind you, sit up and like, it'll be more comforting. Um, I don't know. I hope that helps for you. But just try. Try and even get a little tiny bit of sleep, okay? Yeah, it'll be good for your brain to recover. Yeah, like Melly said. But like I said, if you're scared, like, because I know I've been there where I'm just scared to lay flat down or whatever. Um, so I propped myself up with pillows. If you don't have a bunch of pillows, use some blankets. And um, just kind of put yourself up on an incline, okay? Yeah, try it. Try it. You need to rest. After what you just went through, you need to just rest, okay? What are you looking at? One thing I always wondered with the shark being in the tank with all the other fish, like, does he just get to pick whoever he wants for lunch any given time? What a variety. Of course you would think of that. <laughs> it's a shark buffet. Chantal with the aquarium. <laughs> oh, foodie. 
There were no filters right there, I don't think, or very little. And we finished from the aquarium. Uh huh. Now to the dinosaur. Are you getting a souvenir too at yeah. the end? Since you've been so good? I'm enjoying the ride, babe. Sorry. <laughs> She Is won't even walk, walk on it. No. Oh. Nice exercise. Yeah. Oh. But, uh, reverse. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always nervous about this part. He never really walks with her. Like, most of the time he's, he's up ahead or... Is that, and I'm not trying to shade if that's like a um, cultural thing, but I noticed, does he not want to be seen with her or, yeah, the sketchers are wearing out. He's making her walk. That's one thing. Ooh. He tangles. Look at the tongue. <laughs> Look at the tongue. <laughs> tangles. For Australian uh, people. You're welcome, Marshmallow. Everybody's here for you. That tree is so pretty. Age of the dinosaurs. She is Delta. You could tell. What's your favorite dinosaur, you guys? I don't think he does either, twin. Okay. So men walk ahead, women behind. Okay, yeah, no shade. I just was curious. Hello, dinosaurs. Huh? Yeah. A kid, a kid, not. No. <laughs> I like the vegetarian one. I can't remember its name right now. My brain is... All I can remember is a T-Rex. <laughs> Shanta with a dinosaur. They scammed each other. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yoblosifalos. Sharp tooth. Pterodactyl, that's the vegetarian one. It's so huge, huh? Why were we just zoomed in? The, I mean, of all the places. Again, with the eyes. Yes, we know you love yourself. The little feisty one. The little ones like in Jurassic Park that run really fast and cause a bunch of trouble. Brachiosaurus. Oh. I don't know how I feel about that one. For the most part, I think dinosaurs look so cool. That one worm looking thing, I don't know about that. Raptors. Pterodactyl is the flying one. So the bronchiosaurus is the vegetarian one. The guard telling us we had five minutes left, lol. Finished. It is closing. We didn't get to see all of the museums. Brontosaurus is the veggie eater. Beach, but that's not true, especially if you're filming and you're slow like me. <laughs> we might come back for a part two, but in the meantime, we hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy with us. See you next time. Bye bye. bye. Well, I definitely didn't enjoy it as much as you enjoy IFing yourself, I'll tell you that much, but I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. <laughs> I know they showed up 20 minutes before closing.
You have a little raptor in a cage in the bedroom. His name is Winston. Aw. Yeah, I don't remember the names of the dinosaurs. I think the only ones I always remember is the T-Rex, because that's like, everybody knows that. But has the short little arms. Anyways, you guys, I think I am off to start my journey of trying to fall asleep. <laughs> Finding what I'm going to fall asleep to. Um, probably scrolling on my phone for a bit. But I am tired. Um, this has been a blast hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much. Like, I really am enjoying these late night streams. On the weekends, um, I know I can tomorrow night. I don't know about Saturday, and I can Sunday. So Saturday will be iffy, but um, I'm really enjoying these. If you guys still want to do the late night streams, I'm definitely down to keep them going. Um, anyways, you guys, I hope you're having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are. If you're going to sleep soon like me, sweet dreams. If you're just waking up, enjoy your cup of coffee, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, bye, you guys. <laughs>